The views and opinions expressed by the No Nonsense Show and its hosts do not necessarily reflect views consistent with political correctness or the Rare Science Podcast Network. So to get the show started right, we want to wish any officers of the Sensitivity Police a heartfelt fuck you. Jamie Mack is the best intro king. Well, we, we, it's like... How, not, do you, how do you get better, Frenchman? Um, you, you practice. Practice definitely helps you get better, but certain things... No, not practice. You just throw you in. <laughs> like how you yeah. learn how to swim. This is how we learn a lot of shit back in our well, day. But certain things, I think, you just made your your level of greatness could never be a good tier. And what? Not, not that's not true. What is he? I, I want to know what he's saying. I have no idea. I'm saying that even if you practice, sometimes you know, like it, 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 there's it, just certain it, things in life it, you it, just it, will, it, you so, just won't really be good at. Even that's if you not practice. true. So much is that you could think so, so much. So, for instance, example, um, my. Daughter is very talented as, as an artist, right? She can paint, she can draw, she's good at that, right? Yeah. And and seems to have it like an innate, like she's been that way since she's a little kid, right? Mm-hmm. And my son, not so much, right? When he first, she used to make fun of his drawings, right? And his and his stuff right now. But my boy got, but all he's been doing is doing it, right? He's been, he's stuck at it and he's got skills now. Mm. So again, you can... Like what was that 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 one Asian dude that used to be on late night? Like you can too if if young can it was like you you young can cook yeah. or something like that. He used to sell a cookbook or something like it. Nope. If young can you can too. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the references he tried late night. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Bro. But yeah. you know you know what I think about the reason why you're so good at the intro topic. No man, stop talking about what the, how good he is. <laughs> let him, let him and do give this. us the intro. I do, I do oh, like it when he does. You this want some, little, some yeah, props? Like, I mean, it, 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 I didn't mean to step on your props. Because you, you know you know what it is. What I think really fucks me up with the intro topic is I, in my mind my brain is thinking how can I do it like Jamie Mack instead of being authentic yeah cause oh, he's you like, can't, you can't. is he so, the best you think he's the best at intro topics I like I don't I don't know if he's the best but I he like his style I you, like his style he did say Listen, the king you yeah, let him is, talk you down no, bro no 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 I'm just saying stay, that, stand on your truth like the best like some people would say he always derails the rest of the shit like the show doesn't stand. even get started because the intro topic that he asked to put in the room <laughs> It's not even the fucking intro topic that he starts with. But that's why I like it's about technique. it. I think that's what I like about it. Though. Maybe it's a technique. Maybe he does it on purpose. The you, random aspect of it is what I like about. Okay, his so intro be topic. random. Don't even try to. Don't even try to be him. Be random. But it, it, that's the thing when but I fall, that when I try him. to tell myself <laughs> that. When I try to tell myself, be like Jimmy Mac, be random. Okay, I get French. stuck. Okay, don't get stuck. Here, look, this is what I want you to do. All right, you got it. You got to relax. Go like this. Shake it off. Do this. Okay. No, you're not. You're not Dude, loose. That's not it. You're that's not, not loose. loose. Get loose. I'm look. Loose. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit my head in the wall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say the fuck you in the douche. Right. I want Here you. To, I just want you to say the very first thing that comes to your mind. Don't even filter it. Don't matter what okay. it is. It don't matter how stupid or corny you might think it is. It don't matter how uh, away from the 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 podcasting realm it is. Whatever first thing comes to your mind, say that you're thinking. Stop thinking. Fuck you. I think the best place you. I think you are truly yourself when you're taking a shit. You are listening to the No Nonsense Show. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. Okay. Speak on. I think I think that's when you can you really are your authentic self. Why so? Because that's the only time you can really just you really by yourself and then you really at a vulnerable state. <laughs> and I don't know if vulnerable is the right word, but I mean, yeah, I mean, have you ever seen a dog take a shit? They, I mean, it's like they, <laughs> yeah, they, they don't they, like the look, you they, staring. the look they give you. They don't like, like you staring. They like listen. This I'm, I know I'm at a like I'm, I'm, I'm vulnerable right now. Like I could get got. I disagree. I think they do want you to watch because the they're dog? like yeah, because they're like yo, look out for me. I'm about to take a shit. Uh, like watch my back. That's how I look at my dogs when they're taking the shit. Like yo, the, I need to pay attention. Make sure look at the, the the edge of the bushes. Make sure ain't nothing about to run out there and get them. You know the, what I'm saying? The, the reasons why I said that is because my girl gets mad at me because when I take a shit, I stay in the bathroom for a long time, and I just really be scrolling after I'm done shitting. It's not like I'm. Do, I mean, minute, I flush. This and turned. I flush. What's vulnerable about you staying in the bathroom for three hours? Is that what's all on your phone? All that smudges and stuff I see? (laughs) Poop residue? (laughs) No, but like, and I I tell it's like, yo, I feel like this is when I can really just be me. Like, 
This is like what? My, whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck are we talking about? Is it that is is his intro the, topic? Yeah. The most you you is on the toilet. Yes. What I mean, like what I'm saying is like French it's Reggie, like go. nobody can ever bother me when I'm taking a shit. It's go, like, French Reggie, go. Like, nothing can bother me. Nothing can nothing inter- can bother. Can I? Can we? Can I make a suggestion? No, let him go. He, this is good. This is good shit right here. Go, French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's thank you, Jamie Mac. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's not like when I'm saying that I can't beat me when I'm outside of the bathroom. It's just more of like, I feel like this is the only time you can get true peace and quiet is when you're taking a shit as a man. So I stay in the bathroom a little that's bit longer. That's why they longer. call it the throne. So I stay in the bathroom a little bit longer due to that. And are you saying to your woman right now that she does not provide peace in your life enough to, not, for you to stay out of the bathroom and that you need to hide from her? I'm not saying all that. I'm not saying all that. I'm not saying all that. All I'm saying is... I like sometimes when I can just be the peace and quiet of when you're taking a shit. And then in my bathroom, I you have take like, silent shits. No. Well, you you just like being you said on your peace phone. And quiet. Yeah. yeah. So you don't make any noise. You, you yeah, a I mean, silent I might grunt a little bit if I ate some bad food or like. But you just like being on your phone though, right? Because you said you'd be scrolling for the majority of the time. Yeah, yeah. After yeah, it's, but it's just that like that peace and quiet, just that space of just nothingness. <sighs> sense. No, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm considering this. moving a microphone down to the toilet <laughs> so that French can do the show from the toilet. If he's his most self, when I don't know, man. Toilet, I think there's a piece in there. The most there's, vulnerable. There's, there's that's some Devin the dude shit. There's something. There's, <laughs> there's something. There's, there's something about that I enjoy. Oh, you enjoy taking a shit? Yeah. So. You, <laughs> come yeah, on, I come on. That shit. Yeah, I do. I just wanted to see some air on that. I just needed. I was gonna talk on top of it, but I, I think the air was better. <laughs> Niggas can't enjoy shit. Sure. No, I you enjoy mean, whatever you want to enjoy. I honestly, don't think you're alone. I think a lot of women complain about this. So you do it too? Uh, my wife used to say I was in the bathroom too long. Yeah. See, I don't really in there that long. I don't know how many. Okay, well, let's have questions. That's the thing. Like, I don't know. Um, well, I guess now I don't. I, I don't have to. I can do whatever. Now, so I, I, I'll be in there as long as I want to now. But, <laughs> let I mean, me, so you even, <laughs> you're in there longer now. Here, let me ask a question, though, for you guys, because this might be the, the, the telltale difference, right? I think, I think of Mac as a, uh, I'm going to get in there and shit real quick and get out and go. Yeah. Right. But you do it four times a day. Yeah, see, I shit two, three times a day. Oh, you too. do? Oh, and see, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's you, a problem. You threw it all off, then. That's, yeah. that's where I was going to give you the, I, I was think, like, oh, I well, think I'm where you were going. Yeah, but, like, but but like I, I take t- longer because I'm letting all of them relaxing. Because like to me, a shit shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be that. Yeah, it should be relaxed and let it all yeah. come out on its own time. Boop, 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 and that takes a little longer. But if you're doing that four times a day, French, that's four or five hours a day in a bathroom. <laughs> 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 no wonder your girl's pissed. Yeah. You don't never spend no time no, with me. Like, that, that's a, a lot of quote unquote she, scrolling. Right. <laughs> she she have a point. You watch the whole internet <laughs> while you was on the toilet. You don't ever get <laughs> spend no time with me. I get it now. She right. she she right. It's not, not every shit I spend the whole time in the bathroom, but that's one of them. Yeah, I, I do spend a little bit longer than needed. So I have a I have a ritual, dude. Like I always I take a shit at the end of the day, and it takes longer. So I have one every morning, no matter every what. every morning, yeah, no matter what in the morning before yeah. I leave the house or do whatever I have to do for productive for the day. That's kind of like me. That's the last thing I do before I take a shower and get in bed. It's that coffee. That coffee, that coffee hit then is oh, it, drink, it generates yeah, yeah, yeah. it generates and that then movement. throughout the day I might go once or twice and I got another one at the end of the night. Wow. Yeah. And you're taking an hour long one at the end of the night. So that's like the, the one at the end of the night is usually the longest, or cause I work from home, that middle one in the day. Sometimes it's be the Or the morning Like all of them The morning like one tends to, to be straightforward <laughs> yeah, The morning home. one tends to be straightforward Because I gotta get my day started Yeah So I usually just go in Do it and come out Yeah But So so, so, so like if I was to, I was about to say I think it might be a little bit of hiding Or whatnot Because I know when I was like Wifed up It, it was probably a little bit of hiding Because I don't think I do it as much anymore <laughs> It's not even hiding Because I, I used to do it Before I was in a relationship It's more of like I always just felt like Yo nobody's gonna ever Like somebody call me I'm, I'm in the bathroom Like you're just gonna have to wait you know, like like this. I'm saying I was doing it even since I was a kid. I just think it became this like place where like oh nobody can fuck with me when I'm in the bathroom. Like you're just gonna have to wait on me. Did you? Did you? Is that the same time? <laughs> like, like, you like, a toilet tub guy? Yeah. Like nobody can fuck with me on I think my when toilet. I, when you were a kid growing up, like mom. <laughs> hey, 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 Reggie don't have kids though. <laughs> Call that nigga a toilet tough guy. That's funny as fuck. You say I don't have kids because when I have kids, I'm gonna have, have to kids, keep eye on them. Somebody gonna bother you in that motherfucker. Yeah, this nigga's a hardcore gangster ass nigga on the toilet. Yeah. 
<laughs> Thought until like, look at my face. You go, I'm taking a shit. <laughs> By the way, yeah, terrible intro topic. No, so let me. So <laughs> this is what I was gonna say, Rich. So like, if I was if I was thinking of like an intro topic, right? Like off of just of what your topic kind of just made me think of is like, how do blind people know when to stop wiping? Mm. If you think about that, <laughs> true, true. You but gotta they, smell it. You gotta smell it. I think they, yeah, they probably gotta smell it, or they probably. But touch how many, the how many times have you tried to smell something and got it too close and it touches your nose, man, <laughs> and it still smells, <laughs> um, and it never goes. That smell will never go away. How many times have you done that? You were trying yeah, to yeah. smell something, you are like, oh, oh shit, yeah. and then Bob's like, boop, it touches it, your nose, and that smell is stuck. It seems like it's in un, your nose. You can't untouch a piece of shit that hit you. <laughs> I, I tried to argue because I was having this conversation with someone, and I tried to argue that you know when they, you blind all your other senses. Are heightened. heightened, so I think their fingertips now become like their eyes, so nah, they can tell nah, a different bro, like a like a weight. Probably, no, like a smoothness. Like or the, maybe don't have to put it as close to their face because they can smell from further away. No, nah. that part, right? But I'm thinking it's like the smoothness. Like so, when you got it there, it's like oh, that's that wasn't clean. That's not then, heightened. Sense. I think they probably just know how. They probably know a hey, four or five wipes. Is, 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 Nah, nah. Yeah. some days it be <laughs> lingering. Yeah. But look, I, I so, hope they don't follow that. So here, here's my here's my suggestion to a blind person: get a bidet. I've used a bidet now for what three years. Yeah. I, I I barely use any toilet paper anymore. Yeah, the bidet. You're, is... you're welcome. And second, though, maybe even the grocery store can tell when you've put too many items or the wrong item on the self checkout. Right. Thing. Maybe they just know the weight of toilet paper, right. and it's like, oh, this is a little heavy. This must be a little shit on here still, because our senses are, are heightened. Right, <laughs> right. It's it's got to be something because right. that's just a. I mean, like, but I mean, I mean, honestly, how do blind people not do shit? It's so it's such a wonderful talent. What blind people are capable of doing in the world, even though they're blind. Oh yeah, Stevie Wonder has made how many. Timeless hits. Hey, there's, there's the, the, the jury's out on this nigga. That he might not be. Like, That's this nigga fucking Fugazi. wild. They keep saying that. <laughs> the, the, the nigga might be Fugazi. Like he, <laughs> he did this whole time. <laughs> Imagine lying. lying like that for sixty years. You like God. You are committed. He went. He went full retard. He was no. He was the original trans. Like this nigga's like I just feel blind. That like hair, <laughs> his hair lets me know he's really blind because no nigga's bald with the I'm gonna, dreadlocks. I'm gonna put nigga, these glasses on. You so okay? So you're saying because he's got. Dreadlocks because they're so far back. That, that, yeah, that, that's so far back. I know he can't see it because if he could see it, he would cut that shit. No, them little samurai, <laughs> hey, them, them samurai dudes be having that one little small circle of ponytail. Right. That should be like down to their butt, but just that one circle. And I'm mad nobody told him to cut it. Stephen like, like, A ain't like, cutting he, his shit. Yeah, and his shit is way back here <laughs> or now. Too way back. But Stephen A's head shape is probably not. It's probably gonna look weird if he's super. It's it, he's man, gonna look like mega. Looks super weird now. It does. <laughs> it looks super weird now. As and soon I, as you see it, you can't <laughs> stop seeing it. I, it it's I, I swear, and it's funny because I don't think I noticed it until it was brought to my attention or. It's started going back even further and I was just like yo that's way <laughs> back there did you see that meme where he was at a box, basketball game or something he had like a, a jacket on with his hat turned back and about, uh, agent agent Stephen A. Smith he looked he did just look like an undercover cop for <laughs> real like you can't dress like that dude we've seen you too much in the suits and shit right you can't put on a ball cap backwards that nigga's getting the bag now too though he's he's he, he is Mr. ESPN yeah he's the new Stuart he's Scott he's the only one to get fired and he's yeah, probably I mean, underpaid no, he's getting under. He's not underpaid. This man's getting like twelve a year. So, um, you feel like you saved his topic? I mean, man, no. You feel, he, you're trying to show him how you would do it better, right? Right. So Just, you would take. And that was good. 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 That was a good learning. Um, what did you get from that? What's your takeaways? What did um, you? What did you? What did you? What do you think you learned from that? Him showing you how he would have done this topic. That example that he just gave me showed me one how he thinks. So he he like takes the problem. And adds another layer of problem to that to the original problem. How he didn't add a layer of real, he yeah because because the what was your, what was there was there a problem? I, I didn't have a problem in mind. But okay, he, what are we talking about? But but he Start took over. he took the topic of shitting and said, how do I add a problem to to shitting? And he used the concept of blind people and how do they wipe? And so and then when I look back at all of his other topics, he it's always about how did this happen or why did this happen. Or this thing that he saw that was fucked up. And so it's, I'm starting to see this, where he Hold on gets... a second. Hold that thought. Mac, how did this happen? Why did this happen? Is that what your, that's your normal course of putting the, these topics out? Nah, it does... It, it He's on the right... The first part was... Right, right, as far as like just my interactions with the world. And I just... Some things that I question about the world. And I go, what the fuck? How, why is this this way? Or where do we... How do we get to this point? You know what I mean? Or why are motherfuckers... Like this, or you know, whatever, whatever it is. Same thing. Like we're coming to this road today, fast lane shit. Like I talked about that. That it's happening to me, and it it pisses me off. And then because I see it, and it it's a, it affects my life. Then I talk about it. 
Mm-hmm. So, for instance, knowing that new information that you have, if you had to do it again, what would you come up with this time? Off the rip, I can't think of anything right now. Are you now, not but... being vulnerable because you're not taking a shit? Do we need to take the microphone downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be vulnerable. What do we need to do? A potty? No, no, I can potty, be vulnerable. A potty podcast. I can be vulnerable. Okay, I let's have no problem. Well, get, give us some I have nothing to be vulnerable about. Are it's... you kidding? There's nothing but vulnerability in your life, I'm sure. The only thing, the only thing, that, <laughs> con- <laughs> the only thing that concerns me in life right now is, will I be able to continue to progress in life? That's hmm? my only like, fear. What right do you now. mean by progress? Like, will I be able to keep up with the 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 ability to continue to survive in this world? That's with all. The, everything changing as far as like the the economic climate, economical climate, just possible wars, like health, everything that could could go crazy. So, I I I'd be worried about yo. Know, will I be able to overcome any obstacle that may come in the future? That doesn't sound very fun. I don't think it's fun, but that, if, if that is something that I do, I mean, I'm said, not 100% I wonder confident. if blind people know when to stop wiping their ass when they're taking a the shit. Yeah. That's fun. You are doomsday French. Like, I wonder, will I be able to keep up in the, the current... You asked me about something being vulnerable. That's the only thing I could think of me, yeah. like, having any type of vulnerability about yeah. is the lack of confidence of being being sure that I'll be able to overcome anything that comes. I think J-Mac is just good at saying something. <laughs> I'm still wondering why he hasn't gone back to the um, open open mic at the comedy. Place. I I gotta I got I, I gotta. Got what? I'm working on it. What does that I'm, mean? I, I, I'm working on it. You got a plug. <laughs> I'm working on it. You've been working on your five minutes. Yep. <laughs> so you've done five minutes before. Yeah. Usually comedians take you know like a, a year or so to get an hour. Yeah. You've been you've been out of the game five years. Yeah, you got five minutes. Yeah, I got five a minute minutes. for every year. I got yep. I got I got some, because again, you know how they talk about you know you had to go through some shit, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and I think in these last who few years, that? you know, most of the things as far as you who know, said, who said that you have to go through some shit? Everybody in regards to artists, right? Like the you know, it's like the the I was the, homeless. The, the best the, their best shit is when they were going through something, right, or whatever the fuck, right? Like, right. and then, you know, once you get up, that's like usually like, oh, that's when the art wasn't the same, right? Like, you know, they didn't have that struggle that, you know, experiences that they were using to kind of build their art from that. it. I, I'm just telling you what this is. That, that's what they say. Don't they say that, though? Raw was funny, just like Delirious was funny, my nigga. I think Delirious, well, no, which was first? Delirious was first. Delirious and was And it was the- sillier, but Raw was funny. Right, but Delirious was that shit, though. Like, there was that. Like, or was it that shit? Wh- which one had a fucking Mr. T? That was Delirious. Thank you. That shit was that. That was some, that was some extra shit. Like, he, the fact that he, um, the way that he, the things that he talked about in that one was, I think, just a little bit, dare I say, more raw. <laughs> more <laughs> <laughs> than the shit that he was talking about in Raw. Yeah. So, um, you know, that was one that you could quote. I mean, like for hours. Yeah. That 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 whole show. But anyways, um, yeah, I got five minutes. But I'm gonna do it first, and then I'm gonna invite people. So what? I'm gonna, yeah. No, man, we don't want to hear that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Be vulnerable. We need you. You need you on the toilet. I am. <laughs> we need something vulnerable. We need to see it, man. We need to see the progression. I want to be able to say I I knew that nigga when he wasn't shit. Well, no, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do. You the same try thing. to get prepped up so that we see you when you already. So funny. so be so. From what you said, are you gonna talk about? Exactly what you went through, or are you gonna just yeah? Well, not exactly. I'm just gonna use examples, though. You know, I mean, there's references of shit, right? Like, but that's you know, what I'm saying. The theme of that five minute stand up is gonna be based on that, not not just that. Oh, okay, not just that. <laughs> I think I've gone through a lot besides just that. Okay, you only got five minutes, bro, right? That's <laughs> we don't think, hear about your life. <laughs> you know I think that when you sit on the basketball court when you were a kid, we don't hear about that. It was a racquetball court. Come on, whatever the, court, the handball, the court, nigga. <laughs> I didn't shit on the basketball court. What's niggas, the difference? Because niggas would be pissed if you shit on the fucking hoop court. Like you, I'd be pissed if shit on the racquetball court. Nigga, you don't play racquetball. You don't know what I play. You, you niggas, I played tennis in high school, but this ain't tennis. But I mean, it's, it's related. They cousins. No, no, it's not. It ain't listen. that gay pickleball bullshit yeah. they came up with out of the blue. Where did that come? Where did pickleball come from? I don't even know. Who's excited about the, playing something called pickleball? I don't. I didn't even know what it was until racquetball was a stretch. Pickleball, get the fuck out of here. That's like disc fri- disc golf. Disc golf. Yeah. Disc golf. That's yeah. like ultimate frisbee, but disc golf is the same people that do pickleball. Nah, yeah. keep it. You can keep it. Yeah. You got a <laughs> golf course with, with with frisbees. You can keep it. And you shoot it into the basket. You can keep it. 
Yeah, but see. They just be trying to make new games because they poor. It ain't the main niggas, though. <laughs> No, it ain't niggas playing. <laughs> well, it's niggas playing pickleball now. They think that it's like this club they're in. Playing pickleball, yes, but creating pickleball, no. <laughs> well, I mean, we didn't even create basketball. So. Nope. No, but we just we think that we're more more athletic than than anybody else. Anyway, I wonder what James Naismith would say if he knew a bunch of niggas was playing his game. Probably and making so. millions off of it. And the way that they play it, right? Like dunks, like <laughs> all of, all of that through the leg shit. Fucking Kyrie. If he looked at Kyrie, he'd be like, what? This this is not what I envisioned. <laughs> like, I, you, right. you're doing all of this fucking Harlem Globetrotter shit? Like, no. Where's Kyrie playing now? Dallas. 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 Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I haven't watched... Man, I've watched one... In, I've watched zero NFL games. Well, I watched a little bit of the Miami game that first week. And I've watched one Hawks game. That's it. Not having YouTube TV? I haven't watched any of that shit. They put it on. What's the name of last night? Dofu. Dofu doesn't allow you to cast it anymore. To anything So I'll have to watch it On my phone I'm not doing that shit so. It worked that one day And it stopped working again. Oh okay I was about to say I thought he yeah, had a fix it didn't fix No it didn't fix Cause I've been trying I watched um, Hawks game On my iPad last night They beat the brakes off Of um, Milwaukee Milwaukee it went Dame had Lillard. six points Who? Dame had six points Yeah The brakes off Yeah It was a It was a, a A thorough Whooping Yeah yeah, for sure. I mean, but you know, I feel, man. Hawks, man. Ugh, here we go. Hey, it's a, it's entertaining to watch, but I don't think that you can ever look at them and be like, oh yeah, they're they're gonna win a title. Notice who I'm not mentioning. I refuse to even say the name. I know. I don't, even want, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to. I know their record. I know they're probably better than 500, but I don't want to no. talk. About, I think they might be. They, 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 they might be 500. I think. Yeah, four and four. they just it's, lost this past week, didn't they? They were four and three. I thought. Oh, so they're not four and four. Oh. Right. Either way, they're better than you, friend Reggie, in your oh, yeah. in your fantasy team. Woo! So watch your mouth. Are you gonna get that? Are you should, yeah, yeah. Watch, he, watch, he, watch your mouth. Who and who are you playing? Oh, you playing who, Chuck? You're you're zero and seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yeah I think, they're better than you, my nigga. I think who's gonna let him get his first dub on him? Is Hooch sucking his year? He's okay. Know, Hooch is like number he, he two or something. Record. Yeah, but he letting he letting down. What's the name of get him though? If if French Reggie, if French Reggie beat you, I got him too. Yeah, I don't yeah. even want to, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about those bums, man. So we can move on. We can go on some topics or something before I get pissed. Okay. So <laughs> the <laughs> funny thing is, I talked. We talked about that shit the other day, and we were at the yard, and we were talking about that Super Bowl, and I talked about the party. Twenty three Super Bowl. Yeah, oh, and yeah. I talked about that party, and um. Yeah, everybody had the same consensus. Like, the, yeah, the town itself. Like, you could go outside, and you could you could just feel that the 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 it was just all the air and oxygen sucked had been out sucked out of the, the whole city was just done. Oh yeah, that twenty eight to three, we would never recover. Weren't you a weren't you a Patriots fan back then? I don't know. I sure was. I am still a Patriots fan. But so oh, then, what do you mean we'll never yeah, recover? Yeah, you be killing me with the that. city of Atlanta. That's oh. what I'm saying. I live in the city. Nah, fuck you. You right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just, nah, fuck you. Like no. it's funny when I was watching that game, I was like, damn, we losing, we're gonna lose. We the the Patriots he's got a lot of we's. Yeah, right. He's, he's, yeah, I'm he's getting rich. confused which we we were talking about here because there was we the the, the we, city the Patriots, we the Patriots gonna lose. But I was like, it's a it's a win win for me because I can go to the parade in the city and it's gonna be fun, you know. Mm-hmm. And then. <laughs> Got the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. You parade don't even want to happened. talk about it. Did you go to that parade? Oh, I didn't fly to Boston for the parade. Of course you didn't. <laughs> oh, you should have flew to Boston for the parade. Sure. He's not that we. Okay. He ain't that All right. Yeah, no, that's a, that's Look, a lot of money. I remember when the Warriors won, I flew back for that shit. Did you? The first <laughs> Twice. one? Damn. The first one? The, first... the second and the third one. I was living here at the time, so I flew back for him. That's dope. Parades are, are, are fun. Are they done? No, nah, they probably got one. Are the Warriors done? Yeah. Oh, they oh. might have They might have one more. Nah, Denver's still here. Denver, Denver got a lot to say. Eh, I mean, uh, this is why I say they we'll die. Because Denver. <laughs> no, if if Clay was the old Clay, it would be different. Clay's not that dude anymore. He's not, and that's the difference. I mean, like, nobody, it, nobody is won except for Steph. Ever, well, that's what I'm saying. He, so, they it, won one when, when Clay was technically not that dude, though. If if the if they but were still they the, Durant, it really just depends on yes. how we are when we get to the no, playoffs. No, I'm talking about the one they won recently. Oh, without Durant, Clay was yeah, we won the one dude. without without Durant, yeah. Yeah. But that was Steph. Steph did that, right? Shit, and you still had Jordan Poole to kind of, yeah. Jordan Poole up. was uh, important. I mean, he, he was fucking up though. No, but he was important in that year they won though. That's why they gave him he, the bag. He, he kind of was. That's where he got That's where get his. That's where his dick grew at. That's yeah. why he's acting like he's acting now because of that year. Man, did you see him try to act like Steph? Yes, yeah. and turn around on the jumper and miss. Yes, <laughs> he tried that to do hilarious. it again today against Porzingis. Porzingis I saw the highlight. Them. I didn't watch the game. Come on, bro. You got to stop with that nonsense. They talking about the Jordan Poole experience. Or you got to hit it or something, but you can't. You can't. It's got to go in, man. You can't. 
You can't Everybody do that say shit. Steph though, but that shit reminded me of Swaggy P though. <laughs> but Swaggy, Swaggy didn't, his didn't go in either. Yeah. I know. That's why I said they reminded me but of Swaggy Steph P because he did it and he turned around and that shit just stunk. Steph, Steph's was in the corner the same way where he looked at the, the opposite team like, right. like, like while it's in the air, like what? And to me, before all of them, that was fucking Larry Bird in the fucking three point contest. He did that shit and, and called it and walked off while it was still in the air. Like that's yeah. bucket. So, you know. It, there's been there's been other iterations, but again, if you're only in your twenties, you ain't never seen Larry Bird play, and you just yeah. like, yeah. Steph, he's, Steph. he's a Boston guy. He knows Larry yeah, Bird. I know, I respect, he ain't seen Larry Bird play. But I res- he, no, I Boston. have high respect for Larry Bird. Like, but you don't know that Larry Bird was like the like the guy. Yes, like he he was a nigga. Yeah, like, I know. That nigga played one game with his left hand only and told niggas like, I trust me, bro. I have a father. That nigga. Breeds Larry Bird. What are like, you trying to say? We don't have fathers, <laughs> right? What do you mean? I'm American? saying, right. I'm saying that I right. have the father that put me on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Clear that shit <laughs> up. Right, I thought yeah. you smelled black American. He, yeah, he yeah. definitely was. I think yeah, he was trying to low key. Yeah. <laughs> He's so racist. Dude. <laughs> <Patient> <laughs> yeah, asses, yeah. Man. I'm telling you. Yeah. All right. Can we before we get into this topic? Can I get? Can we take the shot? Yeah. What are you oh. taking? To? Um. Let's take the shot to uh, addiction. Oh shit. I don't know if we want that. <laughs> mm. And what what kind of liquor is this? Shout out to Aesop Rocky. This is the uh, Mercer and Prince. What kind of is it? Uh, bourbon? What yeah, it's it? bourbon. Canadian whiskey. Canadian whiskey. Yeah, it's... Canadian whiskey. What 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 does he have Canadian whiskey for? That's probably he just found a new lane. He, he just you know. It probably was an a investment you could afford. Yeah, but why Canadian? And it's not just Canadian. It's oh. it's also got it's like um, French Canadian. No, it's Canadian, but it's got the it's it's in um, Japanese oak. Is what it's so it's not this nigga confused. It's not just it's not just he Canadian. He got some Japanese oak in Canada. All I know is is in the liquor store you find it in the Canadian whiskey. <laughs> it <section>. is Cana- <laughs> it's Canadian whiskey, but it's aged in or it's created in Japanese oak. What's the difference in Canadian whiskey and American whiskey? Um, Why would somebody say, "Oh, it's Canadian whiskey"? Like like I don't know. What are the Canadians? I think it's for? how it's. I think it's how it's made or something because it, it, like they got all kinds of different whiskeys. Well, like because like Kentucky and all of that stuff, I think of bourbon, right? I, yeah. I don't know. Well, how do they make the thing right here? This Granddaddy Mims. How do they make that? <laughs> <laughs> that never. That, that, that shit is that's in the forest. That's, <laughs> they make yeah. that shit in the forest. In a in a what is still? Yeah, <laughs> that's, still. that's made in a still or a with, bathtub, <laughs> 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 an unused bathtub. And that shit is never gonna get drank. A lightly used bathtub, I should probably say. Just because of how... It's pure, though. Look how clear it is. Yeah, it, but it just ain't going to get drank. It's just too strong. You could probably mix that with your uh, petrol. You could probably run it. You don't even have to mix it. You could probably just run that shit straight, probably. Yeah. And it may, you know, you might have a little knocking and pinging, but I bet your car will move. Yeah. Like, if, if it was, like, some Last of Us shit or, you know what I mean, uh... Walking Dead type shit. Did you shitty. watch that whole series? No, nah, I'm still on it. See, I, I just got past, so I, it was weird because I thought I had. Yeah. And so I started watching it, and then I'm like, I don't remember any what of this What episode are you on? I'm on episode five now. Oh, no, it gets deep, bro. That's, like, like, that's like it's wild. Like the, 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 the Bill episode, I, I was like, oh, boy. Here we go. No, no, no. I tell everybody you don't need to watch number three. Yeah, that's it. The third, the Skip number, number three. three. What is that? Remind me. That's the, that's the gay episode. The gay episode. Yeah. Where, where they, he finds Frank Yeah, that it. was a good episode I mean, it is What it, was wrong with the episode? Have you ever played the game before? What game? The game, The Last of Us Uh, no That's why Because every, everybody who didn't play the game was like Oh, that was an amazing episode I, those, I didn't say amazing now Those, that, those who played that the game <laughs> Look, those who played the game were like What the fuck was this? This had nothing to do with the game at all Yeah, Bill was engaged Bill No, no, was, no, no, no He was That was a real thing that happened in the game The thing was, though is that when you come into like when when when, when when Joel gets there, uh, 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 not Bill but the other one, whoever Frank. the other Frank, he's dead already. Okay, he's hanging already, and he wrote the the letter, and 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 they had the beautiful relationship where they killed each other at the end and what all. The, but in the game, nah, them niggas hated each other, and Bill and Bill actually was the last one left because Frank left his ass and got infected and wrote a letter about how he hated him and wanted to kill him. But he left hate, instead, hate love. And, he, and and he had and he had it laying at his feet where he was hanging or whatnot. And Joel picked it up, and you can decide whether you give it to him or not. And if you give it to him, he was like, "Well, fuck him too." Yeah. <laughs> and then they just wow. keep going. It's so literally, their line. relationship is like two minutes of that game. Okay, but they made an hour long episode based on that shit and lied about the shit how it went down anyway. Well, I don't know about lied. It's Between a different story, right? No, they lied because they hated each other, and he left and got infected and died. No, and no, no. Himself. I understand in the game, but the, but. I would like to think that they can have a little bit of license to 
you know, manipulate some of the facts of the story if it's better. It's a thing. It's, it's better for um um homosexual uh, awareness. We'll put it this way. They took two minutes of part of the game and made a whole hour long episode in a show that has what seven, eight hours in it total. Right. There's a lot of shit they could have put in there instead. I thought it was an okay episode, but I didn't know. I mean, I you know, I have the game, and I played the beginning. Oh, man, I don't, that's, that's the shit. I mean, I, you know, I maybe played it, like, maybe 30 times. And, may, you know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour each time. So and you, can't, and you just can't get past a certain I, part? Well, I just, I'm not, I don't have, I don't have games like that. Like, I'm, I'm okay, but I'm just not really that great at it. So and he's stuck at a certain part is what he's saying. I don't remember. <laughs> like, I just, I, I get tired of games quick. Hmm. Even games with campaigns, because that's yeah, like a yeah. story. I don't play. Mode. I don't play online at all. I think that's really corny to me. Yeah, that's, I, I know a lot of people love it and it's their thing. I don't play. I don't want to talk to a little kid when I'm playing a fucking game, especially a little racist, loudmouth kid. Because it seems like everybody online is racist. No, I got you on that. That's why I start playing Call of Duty online yeah, because like, I wanted to fight. No, kids it's not and just shit. Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> I wanted to fight kids. And Grand shit. Theft Auto. Oh yeah, Call Grand Theft Auto. It's just. Crazy. It's just like how do y'all put up with that nonsense? Like. Some little kid yelling. His mom is telling him to get off the computer or whatever. He's like, "Bitch, fuck you!" I like, <laughs> what? Like, where are we at? Like, I don't even want to associate with these little racist kids. And they're like, you can. It's obvious they're just trolling and they're trying to get a reaction. Right. And they have no friends to play with, so they just playing with you. But um, I just to me, it was um, when it, when it became more than the game. What do you mean more than like? So there is like I like to plug in a game and just go like into the game. Like when they're, they're, I gotta watch a whole fucking shit, and then there's the other shit going on. That's and just ADHD. And I'm just and I'm just like, nah, I don't. I just want to like play. A movie. Yeah, I just yeah, I just want. The Last play. of Us is playing a movie. Yeah, that don't matter to me. I don't mind that. I, I don't mind that. I don't so want to sit and watch this. I just want to play. I'm I'm talking about how you log in and there's people that are just sitting in the in a lobby and they're just talk they're not even trying to play a game. They're just they just want to talk shit. That's and, nowadays Street Fighter right now. And they just get in there and just talk. Like, yo, yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck like you that. and your mom. Like, nigga, you don't know my mom, man. I do you know your mom. You you live at something like they dox you and shit. I know where you, I know you got a pink house and like fuck your mom. Like what? Listen, have you, see, have you seen have you come meet your ass. Meet me down the street. I know where you live at. Meet me and like what? We're really doing this in a in a lobby of a game. Nobody's even playing a game. Right. Have you seen that the 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 two K experience? Oh, oh, they the NBA, 2K. oh, What do you boy. mean the 2K experience? That's so a show? The NBA, no, the NBA 2K experience. That's so a show? That's the basketball game. That's the, M the NBA 2K is the fucking basketball version of what you're talking about. And it's wild. Yeah, I got 2K23. So, I think I got this year's 2K. So, I, but I don't play it. I have okay. it. I don't play it. And especially if you play it online. It's, it's, I don't ever play online. It's so one player. It's it's not even... It's it's. You got the online. You you have to you have to do shit like you got to go train. Nah. You got to you got to fucking you got to go do you got to go to the sponsorship meetings and shit. But that's like career you, mode, right? Yeah, that's career that's mode. That's the my player shit. You got to but the, the thing is is they've had my player for years. Yeah. And I used to play 2K religiously up until um the, the last Kobe one. Not not the newest Kobe one, but I think it was like 18 or something like that. 20 when he died. It was the one that came out when he died, and they yeah, had the 20. Kobe edition. Um, yeah, it might be 20. So that was probably the last one I really played. And they had the whole My Player thing and, you know, stuff like that. But it was like you still was able to play the game for not, like, a hell of a long time and be able to improve your player. Oh, but, you like, like, the, the new shit, shit now? The VC? No, the, the, the new, new shit now, you have to grow. Grind. Yeah. Like that shit is literally you know World of Warcraft with a basketball They do skin. that so you can buy VCs. Yeah. No, they do that shit but so, so you, you will buy, buy a VC right. to instead beef of, your character up instead of putting in the hours. But, but, but they sell it that they made it like this so that way it's like the real basketball experience. You don't just go in the gym for a little training session and now you're like this much better. No, you got to go every day. Yeah, but the difference day. is though... And it's to keep you in the game online. Yeah, and, no, and, but here, here, and, the, here are the two problems. One is... If you are in real life and you're grinding, you get to take that knowledge and that training with you next year. Right. And here, you yep. have to start the fuck <laughs> over next year. Yeah. And not just that, if you do buy the use the VCs and buy enough for your character to be whatever, you lose all that if you get a new player. So like you say you say you build a power forward and you you grow him up and you right. put, spend money on where let's say you want a point guard you can't just cancel that guy and get all those VC no, back no, you, or, you switch, or switch him over type of thing yeah, yeah. You, you gotta, gotta start you gotta over. start from fucking scratch and nobody yeah. you only have a fucking year my nigga before the next version comes out so 
How are you going to get good enough in a year without just spending the money? They know why, and, and kids do it. And yeah. it has to. And, and if that's not the case, it has to be your primary game. Like it has to be the game you play. And that's the thing is like now you're taking time. Now. I feel like that's you a market I mean? share. It's like you got to pay money or you right. got to put in time right. now, type thing. Real like get, a job, right? For real, like you like, really, like you really, really trying to like you hit your to career. the league, like yeah. you trying to really get to the league. And like, yeah, right. no, do you think they're doing that because of like esports and stuff like that that are like? Growing? What's esports? Esports is pretty much like esports was around before that. Government. Oh, okay. Before. Esports were around before for, that. They, for they, 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 and they're in the esport realm. NBA 2K is. Yeah, because they're the one that have they, a real league. They, they have, have a, a real league. Oh, no, no. There's other ones no, that have real league. They have too. a real yeah, league. Yeah, 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 the, the Golden State that. Warriors have an NBA 2K team. The yeah. Celtics have one. <laughs> yeah. Like, and they actually. They sponsor and pay they, these niggas. Yes. They get paid, mm-hmm. but we so we've been we've been to the esports you know filmings. We um, went to the Street Fighter, one. the Street Fighter, right? Right, and it's similar but different. But again, so is it that, exciting. But it is oh, exciting yeah. if you're into. It was gaming. awesome actually. If you're yeah. into gaming, that shit is fun. No, yeah, it because, was awesome actually because like, these motherfuckers are like good. Like I mean, in in the way that they control well, they it, than good, right? No, 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 no. So, so, so when you go to the state, when you go to the uh, TBS or whatever. Um, they have the amateur tournaments before. You go there okay. like two hours before. They have the amateur tournaments where you where just you got, can play. Where, Anybody where we can right. play type thing or whatnot. And I would always make it to like the second round and before I get beat sort of thing or whatnot. But then after that, so you, you, go into the, you go into the studio. Listen, these then, motherfuckers are real. The ones in the studio are playing for 250000 but that's a cute way of saying I only won one time. <laughs> yeah, so I did. I'll only get like to the second time. round or something. Like, that's no. one game. Listen, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. You won one game and get a loss. <laughs> These motherfuckers that are there are serious. Even though they're you amateurs. You said they were good first. Now they're great because they're, they're, they're this amateurs. nigga lasted exactly one round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and listen and I and I don't do that because I'm a button Wait, pusher. Man, no, no, I won one. I got I got beat the second one. <laughs> so who, I, who cares? I, yeah. did, I I'm a button pusher. Who, who cares what happened the second time when you got beat? I don't. I know I lost. It's <laughs> yeah. all good. <laughs> Was the person who beat you like a, a nerd? Like. Little bitty, like we're all nerds there. But let's be clear. If you're nah, if you're there, this, you're a nerd. But there's yeah. another level. You know no, what I'm talking about. If you're there, about. you're a nerd. There's yeah. another level. There's though. another level, and you know what I'm talking about. Like Somebody's- the Asians are in another level. I'm I talk- get you, but it's mostly That's niggas racist. there. To be <laughs> honest, it, it, look, <laughs> it was, look, no. To be honest, it was niggas there, and it blew my mind because, like, in SAC, it's like. If I went to a Street Fighter tournament, it's Asians there. You know what I mean? But here, I go to a Street Fighter tournament, and it's, like, mostly niggas there. Like, that shit blew my mind. And chicks in cosplay. No, there aren't. But yes, no, there aren't. No, there aren't. Bad, bad bitches chicks in they cosplay. They are paid to be there. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> this nigga how do you not know the bad game? Like, of anime? You know how I know he's not right? is because my wife was one of them. So. <laughs> Your wife lied to you. She was paid <laughs> she to was be paid. there. <laughs> how do y'all not know this part of the game? My God. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. <laughs> this is funny. Your wife... <laughs> You call her now and be like, yo, tell the truth. Be honest. Was you paid to be at that tournament? Like, yes, of course I was. No, no pure, no pretty woman goes to these things for fun. <laughs> Give me a break. I don't think you're a big enough nerd, dude. He's not. I am, I am. He's a band nerd more than a video game nerd. Maybe, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. He's more of a music nerd than he is. Music like, nerd, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I got some technical shit with with music. That's fine. Yeah, but but but, but there, there's bad bitches in that world too. You know, nah, there's bad bitches everywhere, dude. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. <laughs> well, they are not. There are no bad bitches in the music world. No, the, 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 the bad bitch engineer not, group, not the nerdy music people. Now maybe right. I saw one. This this chick, she had like uh, like manicured nails and had cuts in her jeans and everything was like and she's like yeah so I use this compressor because you know it, the release on it is like bitch you don't know it you stop who told you to say that why because she because she, because got she the, had nails <laughs> you don't have time to do both bro you don't have time to do both you can't spend all your time trying to look good in the mirror make sure you got the right fit on the, going to get your nails done and getting your hair you don't have time to do that and then also invest hour, the hours it takes to know how a compressor actually works I mean, there's girls that got to do with that, but there's also girls that don't got to do that. Don't got to do what? Don't got to. So their nails, their nails grow manicured. Shit. Come on, man. <laughs> Look, I know. Ain't I, nobody who fucking nails grow manicured. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I, I guess we're having of, certain definitions. I don't know. I think there's chicks that are bad that don't have nails done and don't okay, have I'm eyelashes about and tits. shit. You, so. ain't, you ain't growing no French tits. Nigga, hold nigga. Up. <laughs> nigga said French tits. <laughs> That's not, listen, we're showing our age. Because that's not a thing no more. <laughs> Friendships are not a thing anymore? Friendships is are it? definitely still a thing. That's still, yeah, a, still thing. a thing. And, and this yeah, chick had still a thing. You're yeah. showing your age. Nigga, every time I see it, they got sparkly bullshit. Oh, like, yeah, it, no, it be, you're talking it be about galactic. the girls that want to go crazy. You know, they, 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 they got, got a 
shit. Black girl. They got new shit, but they still got French tips. This, this yeah. isn't a my, black girl. That's still, my daughter got French tips the, the last time she went before she got these ones she got now that yeah. got like sunflowers and shit yeah, on them. French tips and white toes is, is always classic. White toes? That's what they call what white you, girls. What, you, what, what, you, what, what's it? what is white toes? Oh, pink toes. I'm talking about. Uh, the <laughs> nail polish on the, on the pedicure is white. Oh, that's uh. That's like the go to. Okay. Yeah, like 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 uh, white out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. White out. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> hey, so again, let me let me let me try to talk about this topic that I almost fucked up last time last week. Mm-hmm. Um, th- th- there's no. See, look at this chick. She is not an engineer. Yeah, no, she. she what looks, makes you think she's not? She's not, bro. Stop it! But, oh, look at that but, setup. But, but, oh, look at that setup. That's, but you, you on TikTok? I don't believe shit that's I YouTube. see on TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. <laughs> that's that's YouTube. YouTube. That look like a TikTok video. Yeah, YouTube shorts look like TikToks. They still. Yeah, they do. Bro, this isn't. She oh, just, look at that setup, bro. I know. That's what I'm saying. What she if just, she was? What if she was a late bloomer? Nah, bro. Because you her, know some girls are late bloomers. Setup. <laughs> that is. Look at this woman. You're gonna sit here and tell me this woman has this setup and understands the technical part of it. Yes. yes. I don't believe. Well, that. I mean, you don't think look, a girl could be it, fine? Look, hold on, hold on. It's in, possible. In, I'm not gonna say it's not possible because, like, I'm a drummer, right? Or at least I used to be. And and in the drummer world, you would think, oh, there's no, no, there's some. Bad fucking drummer bitches out there, there dude. Like seriously, <laughs> I don't I don't about drummer this bitches. Nigga. Se- no, I don't seriously. About this nigga also said girls, are, pretty girls at, at cosplay events aren't getting paid to be there. They are. You can't they try. There was. Yeah. There may you, be freaks, but no, no, about no, no, no. Pretty, bro. There are ones that are being paid. That is true. But there, there are ones that aren't. <laughs> it's just the way it is. You there just ones don't that think are and the ones that are. That's like engineer? saying every fine girl at the club is being paid to be there. They are. That's not true. It depends on the club. Yeah, club ugly. No, Look, my hey, nigga. Hey, hey, you know what? Uh, hold on. Hey, J Mac, that might be a Georgia thing though. Like in Atlanta, oh, that's I, a, can, I can see that being an Atlanta thing. That's a but promoter. All I know is in California, I've thing. been to plenty of clubs and I showed up with bad bitches, well, so let, I know they wouldn't be. Let me paid. ask you one question. To shut <laughs> but this, no matter what, oh, let me ask you one question to shut this whole stupid ass argument up. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? What does every club offer women? Free. Free, free to get until 10 p.m. You free telling shit. me they're not paid to be there? That is being paid to be there. Yeah. <laughs> they're getting twenty dollars to come to the club. Yeah. Free by midnight. And like every free. bitch in there is paid to be Before there. Midnight. And, and then and then niggas are gonna go there and the bad chicks that quote unquote either did not get paid or got paid technically from the club, they're gonna still wanna go because they can pull a nigga at mm-hmm. the club. Oh no, no, that's true. It. Yeah, they'll find a trick at the club. So that's true. What he just said was true. Yeah. Is in Atlanta is the the the, the place for tricking. Look at Mac. Look. <laughs> That's why I don't go to clubs no more. Look, when yeah. I realized I got to be a trick. You ain't bro. When I realized I got to be a trick, I was like, oh, Stop this, it. You, this come is on, not man. my tax bracket. I don't, I don't believe you because we just talked about this and you're a drink buyer of like I all do, Oh, because I wait, buy wait, a few I do, drinks. I do remember hearing that. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I like to buy drinks. Yeah, trick. Don't, don't get me I wrong. like to buy drinks. Isn't that tricking though? What it does is that mean? definitely tricking. What does that mean? I like to buy drinks. L- like if I if I if I'm hitting off with a girl, I'll buy her a no, drink. You, I have no, you just you, you starting you off with a conversation, table, bro. Right. You say you go to the table and buy the table. Like, like, can I buy you a drink? Like, yo, like to start this conversation, let me get you a drink. You look thirsty. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll pull that move. <laughs> my my name is John. I'll pull that move. <laughs> let me let me trick off for you real quick. It ain't tricking if you got it. I mean, like, oh. but that's one drink. Some niggas will keep buying drinks. Uh, you might get one or two. Uh, well, one or two listen, drinks once you of... pot committed, nigga, you might as well, well keep. No, no, no. You I'm might saying, get her drunk enough to to get some. French, you do realize there's a step before that though. People are like, you're saying I'm not buying no whole bunch of drinks. One or two drinks, it. It's something's like I'm not buying one or two drinks. I don't Fuck know no. you. Yeah, something. I'll buy a drink. Like like the, I'll buy the, a drink. The, the level of that. quality of woman that's out there right now, they ain't get no <laughs> fucking drink for me. Well, hey. not every girl's getting a drink for me, but if I see a girl that I like. Them yeah. drinks is fucking expensive, man. man. You can Thirsty. start with a fifteen dollar one. Thirsty Fuck bitches. Fuck this that. nigga said. Start with a fifteen dollar. one. I heard that shit. I mean, that's how they start. They don't start cheaper than that. Maybe you can get a nine dollar oh, Long Island, I'm, I'm but they don't. Cool. They don't give them. They don't sell them for nine dollars anymore. That's right. why I don't be going to clubs. <laughs> it doesn't Fuck make that. sense. That's, that's I'm kind of cool. It doesn't make sense how we are doing this backwards and we just keep doing it with chivalry. No, that's not <laughs> chivalry. <laughs> That is not chivalry. Uh, I'm all ears. What you talking about? Yeah, Holding open a backwards. door is chivalry. You know what I mean? Like buying a drink is not part of chivalry. Nah, not at all. Uh, I think that's it not. Is. That's not chivalry. Everything that 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 Pac just said, 
everybody, every dude agrees with. However, here we are still in the club, still buying these thirsty bitches drinks and still like, it doesn't make any sense how we're still hustling that way. And for the only thing is for us for pussy. Right. Yep. But th- is that what the requirement is to get pussy? Yeah, nope. you got to pay for it some way or another. Nope. You either pay for it directly or you pay for it nope. through another way. <laughs> nope. That's that's the way it is. It's always been that way. Nope. Hold it's always way. been that way. <laughs> yeah, niggas always have to pay for pussy one way or the what? other. What? Directly right. or indirectly. You want to marry this girl, you got to give the dad a goat and like four other things in the African culture. Man. You go to another culture, you got to give the dad this. You go to China, you have to show you can buy a house. There's that's niggas. from America. Wait, wait, wait. There's niggas doing that shit. Yeah. But there's also niggas that's in the back shit Fucking the bitch that nobody knows about. But they're not married. Yeah, of course, right. they're talking married, about marriage. That's, what, look, that's exactly about the point. No, I mean, but the reason why I brought up the marriage, thing, I was like, in in every cultural aspect, <laughs> to get access to the pussy, there's a form of payment, no matter what, whether you pay directly or you pay through some type of other way. I think it depends. I think it depends on the type of nigga you are. Tell me, you got. Tell me, there's you got, niggas that ain't paying for shit okay. and tell, are getting hella at. And I yeah. look, and 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 I'm. Let's check this out. All I'm the- saying is, like, I tell, I even tell my daughters this because sometimes I'll be listening to my shit and whatever, and, and, and I have her tell them, like, look, check it out. It used to be different back in the day. But, like, money over bitches used to be a fucking movement. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I met Fuck my, bitches, look, when I met my wife, I, I actually, like, her friend had to explain to me, like, you're going to have to buy her Valentine's Day presents and shit like that because I wasn't buying bitches shit mm-hmm. at that time. And I was getting ass and all that kind of shit. So I know, like, you well, can do it. you got put on. You Somebody could do told that you you're going to have to buy something if you no, want to get that one. No, no, no. It's because I really it. liked her. That's That was what that so, was. So, Fred Reggie. <laughs> tell I, told, me, I used to tell her all the time, like, you should know that I love you because I spent money, money on you. you. Okay. <laughs> tell you me saying? you, I was going to say, tell me you ain't got no game without telling me you ain't got no game. I'm not saying I, I'm not saying I haven't fucked a girl that I didn't spend no money on. I'm not saying that. But I'm speaking into general consensus of things. We have to pay... To get access to pussy one way or another. You know, worst case scenario, you gotta pay your time. You gotta no, you, you gotta listen to her to. talk <laughs> about some shit that you don't wanna hear about so you can end up fucking that night. Regardless, you have to do a form of payment, period. It can't just be like, you look now good, let's have time. sex. It can't just be like, you look good, I look good, you think I look good, let's have sex. Now you're talking about time. You're saying in order to get with a chick, there's some sort of sacrifice. There's a certain exchange you have to do. It can't just be, oh, you cute, you think I'm cute, let's fuck. You must not know about the one night stands. Okay. Like I said, I just think it's the type of nigga you are and the type of female you're dealing with, to be honest. Because there's sex that you're going to have to do all that in order to get there. But then there's ones you ain't got to do a fucking thing, but think, just pay attention. I think that the disconnect here, and maybe, you know, French just didn't, had, didn't get a chance to experience this, like, side of it. Um, if you're in a club, chances are you're going to have to pay. Yeah. But you don't meet women in clubs. And that's what... Pac is trying to say Like yeah In a club You might be hit with that Because they're already Coming there to For get sure, something yeah mm-hmm. But if you meet her Somewhere else Yeah you, you can end up Fucking that night That I'm same not- girl yeah. That same girl who's at the club expecting drinks and whatever, that same girl may have a different approach. Yeah. And and I'm my not dude, me and my dudes used to po- post up in front of the fucking grocery store <laughs> and just get at bitches. And, and eventually we're going to go fuck something. Yeah. Numbers and, game. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Numbers game. But, but I'm just saying, there's all kinds of different, like, there's, that's saying, not an absolute. <laughs> and I'm, I wasn't saying that that doesn't happen. All I was just saying that just from a general standpoint. I get what you're saying. You're saying generally this is the way it's that a, it's, it's a, that it's, it's supposed to be. No, I don't know if it's supposed to <laughs> be. No, 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 it's, no, no, it's no, 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 no. Societal. Yeah, Societal yeah, yeah. rules yeah. type thing. You're supposed to take her out. You're supposed to pay for dinner. There's a, there's to, a level yeah, of courting I that needs you. to take and place. And I'm supposed to get that pussy. That's what I look, look at it. Look, if, that, if I, I look at it that way too. Yeah. But the funny part is, is that that's not how it's looked at by them. <laughs> by, by, yeah, it's looked but, at like you're supposed to spend this when on did me, that happen? and you're not supposed to expect anything in return. But when did that happen? Oh, Mike what, Tyson. What year? What year was that? Because I Mike Tyson. What year was that? Because I was out of the game. I guess. Shit. What uh, year? I, I was out of the game too. I'm nope. learning this shit. What now. year did that switch? <laughs> Mike. Mike Tyson. No, but after that. No, because when she came to, no, I was that, fucking this is after that Mike new, Tyson. This is that she, new shit. This that's that new, new that's shit. New. What year? That must have been the beginning, because she swore she wasn't supposed to get a pussy up that night. Nah, that's some dumb shit. She was insane. Whenever I'm that Me Too shit started. Bitches. Whenever that Me Too shit started, really. Nah, no, but not, was, not for that aspect. It had to have been before nah, that. that. To me, that's when it seemed like it got brought into the forefront, and now you're being shamed publicly if you don't agree with these things. <sighs> you know what's so crazy, man? It's like when we were younger, we weren't expected to have shit. Now, like money? Huh? Like money and shit? 
power, money, whatever. You just be a regular nigga, just get some pussy. Well, yep, right. It wasn't there wasn't oh, this, yeah. this Social grandiose. Media ruined that. There wasn't this grandiose like dance. There wasn't this thing that you had to do. It was just, you know, you weren't expected to, uh, if you're 20, you're not expected to be a CEO of a company. Right. Like, you're Social not expected media. to have no Benz. You're not expected to have no uh, uh, Gucci or you're not expected to have this shit. You're right. only 20. Yeah. So let me just break you off a little piece of this pussy. And I'm like, yes, ma'am. Thank right. you. Right. Social media. And that's, you took the bitch to McDonald's and it was And that's cool. how it no, goes. They got a whole you know list. I mean? Don't even take me to Cheesecake Factory. No, I saw that yeah. list. I, that's, Cheesecake that's, that's Factory? Ridiculous, what? Man. There was one on there, Applebee's. I don't fuck with Applebee's, but every other thing on there, bitch. But Applebee's man, is a step up on. compared to how you it used to go back in the day, though. Well, maybe not a first date. I can understand that. What? But no, nigga. Wait, what? wait. What do you mean, not a first date? See, you're you're feeding into their bullshit. No, no, bro. Hell no, no, yeah, no, no, you gotta you... set a standard, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what I was trying to say. It's like I would, I would, I've been on Applebee's dates. I love two for twenty. I right? Fuck yeah. I'm going. Okay. And if you really like, and I'll her, tell you, no, we look, on that if you really like it, you do two for twenty four. <laughs> yeah, and turn that, six, that, turn that six inch steak into <laughs> yeah, a nine. Yeah, facts. <laughs> turn that six ounce steak and into a nine. And then you go on a Tuesday to dollar margaritas too, so you get <laughs> the Dylan drinks. Get them dollaritas, boy. <laughs> You know what I'm you saying? You know what it is? Applebee's by my house is just terrible. That's why. No, but you know what used to have it going on too was um, what was it? Uh, Joe's Crab Shack, and oh. on, on Tuesdays. And they had the two dollar joints, man. You could yeah. get the hurricanes, and you could get. George Crab Shack used to be a spot. A two, but I see why two dollar everything on on Tuesdays, bro. But what my problem is though is who are you that your tired, uh, ball up face ass can't enjoy yourself at Applebee's or Joe's Crab Shack? Yeah, Instagram. Right. Who the fuck are you? What do you think you're supposed to be? Instagram doing. If you can't go have fun, I don't care how much money you make. If you can't go sit at Joe's Crab Shack and have a, a couple of drinks and right. laugh. You're not even a, a cool person. No. You 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 guys sent us that video of that one girl that said, "Yeah, oh, because I got makeup on and I got it cost on my makeup dress, cost me forty dollars. So we have to go to a high expensive restaurant just because my output. I didn't actually put all that on. And even yeah. if, no no, but the, the thing is though, even if I have on thousand dollar shoes. I'm the type of nigga that can't laugh at Joe's Crab Shack over right. some drinks because I got thousand dollars because shoes. of where I'm at, and, it, and I'm <laughs> and telling it don't, you, it don't cost enough to be here. Like you yeah. ask, that's you, some bullshit. You ask when did this shit happen? I really think social media because it's like they date now for optics. Mm -hmm. They date now so they can post the picture at Nobu or the expensive restaurant, not because you're a nice dude and you took him out. Have you eat. been to Nobu? No, nah, there's always fucking Have any food. Been to Nobu? Right, there's one that nope. just opened up downtown, but it's always full. And it's two hundred dollars for a plate. Fuck no. How good is the food? I don't know. It's two hundred dollars a plate. And they got a Nobu out here now. Yeah, yeah. And and, and when you go look, it's fucking reservations all the way up to twenty twenty five already. How good is the food? First of all, and second, can I have a good time there? Because I don't want to go somewhere and be stiff shirt. Yeah, that's just not my personality. Yeah. That's so, why I like Joe's. That cut your time. That's what I'm saying. That's why you like. What's the name of that club you started going to when you first got here? Uh, uh, no, Taboo something two. two. Taboo two. Taboo that's two. why you go there. I don't want to go there and, and stand up on the corner looking all stiff shirted and right. shit. Yeah. Like, oh yes, yeah, so I think I'll have a cigar with my cognac. Yeah. Taboo two. Shout out to Taboo two. You're like, they, no, they... give me some henny. Yeah. And give me this hookah. And, and a hookah. Let's, let's let me, go in here. And, and let me roll my blunt over here in the corner. <laughs> yep. Yep. And, and, and get yeah. her. Like... And, and because of that, I don't really care as much. About the small shit Right Because I'm not here To impress or whatever Like maybe I am here To impress But I'm here to impress A different kind of way Right I'm not trying to be here And that be the impressive thing Right And I gotta take pictures I actually wanna be here And have a good time Yeah And I'm gonna impress These little couple of Chicken heads in here Right Cause maybe I'll fuck one of them Or something You know what I'm saying But it doesn't It's fun And it's like I can relax and be myself and whatever. And if you're saying to yourself, I can't relax and be myself in Joe's Crab Shack, I need to be in Nobu, I don't know if I'll even want to yeah, right. You're, right. Not, you're not for me. <laughs> yeah, like I don't even think we could hang out anywhere. Not yeah. just like if if I got to take you to Nobu on we our first date. We can't even be friends. I don't right. even think that you're the kind of person that I want to hang with. Like, what do you do for fun? Don't tell me Nobu. Right. Exactly. What do you do for fun? Right. It, it ain't. It ain't stars Duke and strikes. Duke into taking you to Nobu. When you're when you're when you're, when you're when you're saying to yourself, "Man, I really want to have fun tonight," I'm going to. If you say Nobu, I don't believe you. Right. I don't believe you. It ain't stars and strikes. If it's, if it's a if it's like a um like a a four star or five star restaurant type shit, I don't believe that you go there to have fun. And no. then, and then as a nigga that I've ate at some four or five stars, they don't give you enough food. And yeah. give you enough food. That's not for problem. the money. And it's That's what I'm saying, bro. And it's more about the presentation than it is about the food. Yeah. Yep. The, the only high-end restaurants that, like, I never have a problem paying is because of the steak quality. Is like some steak restaurants. Ruth like, Chris. Ruth Chris wasn't that great last time I went. Really? Yeah. Uh, every time I've been. It was mediocre. Okay. 
But I went to um, I don't know if this place is even that expensive, but they had good quality steak. Um, fuck, I forgot. Nick. Don't do it because I can't even eat steak no more. Let's change the topic. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because I, I love steak. But like, too. I'll, I'll, I'll spend good money on a steak because of the quality of the steak, the quality of the meat that we. I'll raised. tell you one place I've been yeah. that's never, never, and I mean absolutely never. And I've been there probably four or five times. Uh, Capital Grill. Never Capital had a Grill's good. Never had yeah. a bad experience there. But I wouldn't go there to have fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm, right. That's what you're saying. I, I wouldn't that's go there to have fun. Yeah, you just yeah. The service is great. The food is great. The atmosphere is great. It's very it's very nice. But I wouldn't go there to have fun. Right. So then, what do you do if you're a no boo first date type person? Where do you, if I ask you where you go for fun, what would you say? Oh, I go to Dubai. Paris. Right. Yeah. Like <laughs> you can't have fun in America. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. You can't you can't have fun unless I'm breaking my pockets and shit. Like. Right, right. <laughs> and you ain't treating none, none of this fun shit, right? What's like so you, crazy about that video, the one you're talking about, where the girl was like... Man, a cheesecake? Yeah. And no, she no, was no, 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 was no, no, not the man of cheesecake, the one talking about the makeup. The one that she Oh, was, yeah, that girl was she was She wasn't even in no good car. It was a regular fucking pedestrian car. It wasn't like no real, like... Italian leather seats with the stitching on it and shit right. with the vent so you can get the air conditioning in the seat. It wasn't even no right. It was like a Hyundai or that something. That was a Sentra. <laughs> what I'm what, you, what, count, what kept, uh, fucked me up is she was like, she brought out this nigga's job. She's like, and he's a surgeon, you know, so, <laughs> so he could afford it. Like, so what if he could afford it? He don't, listen, like he says, why would I invest for a, a, a potential date where you're a bum ass bitch and I realized this after I'm been spent $300 on your ass? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Like, we going out for drinks. I'm telling you. Like, so we going to do it French Reggie style. Yes. You can get a couple drinks, and then I realize that you a bum bitch, and you ain't getting no more drinks. Like, that's it. But if I'm already invested $300 into a meal, and then I realize you's a bum-ass bitch, how, how is that dating for me? Like if I, Well, because many, she feels like if you worry about $300, you can't support my life. But this is the problem. <laughs> this, this is the problem that don't ever think about. If we're just dating... You might be my second girl I brought on a date this past right. two weeks. Yeah. I can't drop three hundred dollars on every date. Well, that's right. what she's saying. She don't want your broke ass. <laughs> right? How can you drop three hundred dollars? What kind of yeah. dating experience is yeah, that for like, me? Like I, just... I got a four girl, five girl rotation. Hey, going look at on that right point. Now. We got something in common. <laughs> all, <laughs> all, all I know is, uh, shout out to Kevin Samuels um, oh, yeah. because I want to know what your dad did. Right. What, what did your dad do that got you feeling like this is what you deserve in life? Tell me what your parents did for a living. I want to know what that life was like. Because if you grew up in a Nobu household, I get it. You don't understand McDonald's. You don't yeah. understand Applebee's. Yeah. But if your broke ass was eating Applebee's and McDonald's when you were a kid... And because you thought your that parents, was the, the expensive restaurant? Because when no, I was no, a kid... No, no, not even think they were expensive. If that was good enough for your parents to give you... Right. Bitch, you're going to eat this Applebee's. But you're not right. going to understand. When I, was, dick. when I was growing up... <laughs> when I was growing That's up... That's rape. And we went to go to Olive Garden... <laughs> oh, no, no. Consensual. Nah. <laughs> you can throw... I fuck. say you going to eat this Applebee's. You said, and this dick. <laughs> right. That's rape. Right. There's consensual throat fucking. <laughs> that is not a cheese stick, nigga. That is a dick <laughs> what are you saying I was saying when I was growing up like when I went to Olive Garden and shit it was to celebrate something like right a Olive Garden so was I always thought this shit was a high end restaurant nigga. until I got older and I'm like what y'all call that shit bullshit Italian who, like, who was that nigga that talked about going to Sizzler or Charlie's what Cause, cause <laughs> Sizzler's was a, was a celebration for me yep. yeah for real like yep. we going to Sizzler like what hell yeah, yeah. like let's get Olive it Olive Garden Red Lobster all that yes. that, that, was, that was high end celebration that shit was expensive back in the day yep that was a that was you going out. Yes. Right. That was some like, shit you put some... on some good clothes for. That's <laughs> <laughs> when I was like, oh, we got money. You so loud. This red lobster girl stop being so loud. <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Hey though, um, speaking of wild shit that French Reggie be saying, what was it that we was talking about that we never got to <laughs> we, that we never got to <laughs> What is it? So, 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 Pac, Pac <laughs> called me up and be like, man, I'm listening to this show. How in the fuck did y'all not keep this going? Like, how did this yeah, How did y'all let that nigga get away that Which easy? <laughs> what thing was it? Uh, man, it was, uh, it was probably the last, uh, what last something episode? Stupid he said? It was about the sperm, and he was it, like, it, it was well, something about, it. it was I something know, about, but, I don't know, I don't remember what the fucking topic was about. he was, was like, about, you gotta take it remember, raw. He's like, he was saying some it. shit about putting the essence in the water, you know, like, what are you talking about? Something about, and y'all was saying like, something oh, yeah, like, y'all thought about nothing in the water and drinking the water or something like that, and he was saying something like, you know, you gotta take that raw. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and I missed it. I didn't hear it. Right, but you had to have heard it when we when you listened to it because again, and I was like, you know what? I didn't even I didn't even bring it up. You know, I was like, but next time we go, next time we record, I want to bring it up. So I was I saying you got to drink 
You said you, you gotta, gotta take that you, raw. You gotta take the nut raw. You say that no dilution. If, if, if that was the case, you, you like, don't. Like, you wouldn't you put the nut in the water and drink it. You would have to take it you raw. Was, I don't know. You was talking about you. You're you some, some personal shit. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You wasn't talking about nobody you know, else. Some throat baby type shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> and so, so what's funny is he's like, wait a minute. So is French Reggie just coming out now? Is this yeah. is, is it official? Yeah. Like, are we just are we just did out you, here did with you this come shit? I'm straight. I'm like, are y'all just? This is just acceptable. Like I don't know. I just y'all just let that go real but easy. I, I think I think French has admitted to being like ten percent, right? Well, no, I said because of my twin sister, I got three percent female. Three percent. I knew it was something. Yeah. It, but 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 <laughs> but what? I mean, the, the fact that you you know, I mean, you didn't. No, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, no accepting what? that. <laughs> he's not. He's not sure how yet, but he knows he's not accepting it. <laughs> because, because, just because you you licked it off your lips, bro. Right. That, that that's that's more than three percent. It, but it's my again, own nut. Here we go again. Yeah, but you can't say things like that. Yeah, I wanted to taste it's my it. Right. own nut. You wanted I've, to taste sperm. That is not a. That's not something straight niggas say. I wanted. I, I wanted something to straight see. niggas say. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see. <laughs> What the girls are experiencing Man. Why? Oh my god <laughs> Why did you want to kneel that? I just wanted to see Like what they're experiencing How did you ju- How did you decide It was going to be your sperm? Like, well like, it, I didn't decide It accidentally hit my lip And I was it was right there And I was like Since we're here So you, if anybody's sperm Hit your lip You would have done that? No nigga it's cause it Don't was nigga me shit. now You were saying I wanted to know First What sperm all, tastes like Why would anybody else's sperm Get, a, get Bro, around me? I, honestly now I want to see another nigga's sperm <laughs> Touch your lip Listen no. wait a minute Do you Do you want to experience The G-spot orgasm? No, but it Internal, was just, I was I mean, jacking off. It was a big one. It got up. T- it went all up. these words are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you said is, is is pause. It hit my lip, and I and then and then I just and you thought about it, it. I did a little. No, no but you, you thought about it. it. You thought about it. You're like, well, let me just see what this do. Yeah. What is it? What's the, what's the big? My let only me see curiosity what the big, is how long did that thought process? Last? How long? Let's seconds. see what the big hoorah is about this. Milliseconds. So look, how did you? How did? So what you just did was different than what you told us the first time. So now I'm asking you to recreate the scene. <laughs> Tell us how you actually put this, the the nut in your mouth. So you I, sucked it in, or you licked it in, or I you jacked off? Yeah. Cause it went up. It up. Yeah. Some of the nut it hit my lip. Never get old. And it stuck up, and it stuck. It hit my lip. Right, so I <laughs> took my tongue out uh-huh. and just wipe it off. <laughs> so you didn't go. <laughs> no, nah, I just wipe it off, <laughs> and then I did. Mm. And then <laughs> I was like, "Oh, it just tastes like regular water." So I was uh. fine. Your your sperm tastes like regular water. At that time, I was in a good diet, so it was, it was good. That's when I was eating fruits and vegetables all the time, and I was so many red flags. highly hydrated. So it didn't <laughs> taste like nothing. Like it tasted like it didn't had no taste. So I was like, "Oh, okay." So like. I, I guess why they. You would try it again. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll do this again. No, no, no. Why it was not? just more like it was more like I was like, okay, the girls. You was not like, yo, if I tasting ever, anything sour or if salty. If I ever had to go to prison, <laughs> nah, I, 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 I could do it. It just it just made me realize. It just made me. You said, like, oh, okay. okay. That's what okay. I thought of when you said, like, okay. When she's, I was like, okay, she's not swallowing something nasty. That's all it made me do. It made me realize, like, okay, she wasn't swallowing nothing nasty. Yeah, yeah. So just for just so. Um, a little bit of transparency and clarity here. Just so you know, we're an hour into this show and we haven't got to a topic yet. Yeah, but that's, that's not how my Jay- fault. That's how Jamie Mack de- This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, but he could have started. He kind of did start his topic. Nah, nope. not really. Not really. Yeah. Not really. Because nope. he said I was no, going to talk about what we talked about last topic. week. He did say that. He said I was going to talk about what we talked about. Nah. What I was about to talk about last week. Not really. But, but I think though, if you but see like to what you talked about, the king of it, it's been it's been laughter and comedy this whole time. <laughs> Time. You know what I mean? So, like, again, it, it you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah. Like, so, you know, you could force it. That's rape. Or you could just <laughs> let it happen. Like yeah. your lip. <laughs> you just, yeah. like, man. But let again, me ask y'all a question real quick. Real yeah. quick. I'm going to derail for okay, a second. Okay, let's get it. Because I got, I got called out. I, I'm a Kool-Aid drinker when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Everybody? Yes, for yeah, sure. Yeah, Kool-Aid? Yeah. Ten-cent yeah. packs. Bro. Flavor. Flavor. Um, Water, blue, blue, tropical uh, punch and lemonade. Tropical punch. Blue raspberry and lemonade. Blue raspberry was bomb. I didn't like the lemonade. Go ahead. Uh, but you got to mix it with tropical punch. Tropical and no, it punch came together, my nigga. No, 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 no. Yeah, tropical no, punch together. and, they had and lemonade. Yeah, together. It came together. As one, or you yeah. did it yourself. That, you put one pack of tro- tropical punch, one pack of lemonade. Yeah. Two cups of sugar. Let's go. Okay. Did you get where'd you get that two cups of sugar from? Because on the pack, I thought yeah, on the sugar. pack, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, one cup of sugar. I was called out per pack. Per pack. No. One cup of sugar one is cup what of, we did. We did two packs, one cup of sugar. Yeah. Okay, so I was called out because I apparently make Kool-Aid wrong. How'd you do it? This is just me, period. When So let me, you know what, I don't want to feed you guys. Tell me how you make Kool-Aid. Who, anybody wants to. I just did. 
How? So two packs, one cup of sugar. Okay. Nah. So again, I, I so I got that's the not, large pitcher. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I got the large pitcher. Right. I got the large pitcher. Yep. And I get two packs of Kool Aid. Yep. Two cups of sugar. Yep. Still fill that shit to the top and stir it up, and then we good to go. So Basically, in that order. One. Yeah. What about you? Same process. Okay. Much. I'm a serial killer. Then I put the water in first. And mm. then I put the Kool Aid in, and then really? I put the sugar in and stir. It. Really? Th- here's why: powder's first. Well, no, yeah, I'll tell you first. why powder can should not be first. If you put powder in first, what happens to some of the powder that's at the bottom? Well, Nothing. You're stirring it, it, it so it what's gets the dissolved. What are you it doesn't about? always dissolve. It's it like the does. little. No. I feel like if the water's already in there, and I put the the powder in, now I can stir it. It gets mixed easier. And then I put the sugar in and I mix that. It's easier. You don't rinse the flavor pack out with the so water you that you're putting in there? Do you huh? put the milk before the pack. cereal? Okay, so I guess that this is why you would need the method because that's what you're talking that's about. That's why I'm saying the method. method, yeah. So for me, I would get the pitcher, right? Yep. I pour the powder in there. Yep. And then I would take the, the, the water and pour it in the packet and pour the water in there so why? it gets all the powder out of there. Oh, out of the packet yeah, too. Yeah, out of the packet too. And then I would put the sugar in there and then fill the water up. And then (laughs) got to get all the fat out the pack. I was just talking about on the I feel you, my nigga. That's what I'm talking about. That's how my dad did it. That's how I did it. I don't want none (laughs) stuck to the bottom or whatever. I was I was laughed at for putting the water in first. But yeah, that's different. That's different. Yeah. But do you understand my logic? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Because again, I think that you 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 start with, and then when you start to hit the water, you know, when you start to pour it in there. It it kind of stirs it up. That you're right. It kind of gets it swirled around, and then you get the. Why spoon is it you. wrong for the way I do it? It ain't wrong. Well, it's just oh, okay. different. I think I think it's you. I think for me, I think you. Anytime you put powder in water, you have to deal with the more clump factor. Like if you have like so, if you were making um. That don't make sense. Yeah, like if you're water making, is still hitting the powder regardless. No, of no, no. But it, the powder it doesn't. The pow- the water's already there, so when it hits it, it, it starts to clump immediately. Are you talking about like the, for the same reason, like when you make the uh, mashed potatoes in a box, it tells you to stir in the the, the, the potatoes instead of just dumping it in because then it clumps up. Right, or when you're making a like when you're making the the the, the thickening thing, right? Like with uh, cornstarch or or like flour, or you know, you have that that you, you add it to the gravy, right? Hit you, your lip. you. <laughs> <laughs> But you, if you have water and you put the cornstarch in, then it clumps, right? Or if you put the the flour in, it, it's clumpier. If you put you don't the think water, it clumps first, at the bottom when you no, do it like that. No, because again, it, at the bottom you can always stir it, right? You like can you, stir it everywhere, it's, but it's floating. It doesn't. So at the when it's at the bottom, it's it's a. It's how a, you stir it if it's float? So how are you stirring if it's not floating? No, because again, you can't get to it. You're gonna have to those fl- those clumps. You're gonna have to mush those against something, right, to get them to break up. I never had that problem. And, and well, I have with the flour and different things. But if it's at the bottom, it's already, you know, in there. And so, yeah, anything that doesn't get, you know, stirred up initially, yeah. you can you can get that with the water. I mean, with the spoon, and that you. automatically starts to dissolve it. Okay, I'm a serial killer. Let's let's move on because French is bored. <laughs> no, I think I think the fuck out. I think no, I think he's just wondering like how did I fucking let that happen? Like why did I choose the I think, choose why did I choose nut? I think, like, I, think <laughs> I think that nigga hit his head that time when he was trying to do that and now he knocked himself out. He was gone. He's a little concussed. That nigga was knocked out just now. Yeah, like I, I <laughs> let's move on because I, I don't want to bore him. And we haven't gotten to one topic yet. Well, let's get to it, man, yeah. again. So um I think, you know, we were talking about first week about different things that are going on in the world and how you know, they may be conspiracy adjacent and, and, and things of that nature. Like, how does things happen? I'm starting to figure out why, you know what I mean? Because, again, I remember saying, like, you know, they gave us, they gave a whole bunch of generations this ADHD shit with the use of Tylenol, right, um, for pregnant women. Um, because, again, that was what they were telling pregnant women, the only thing they could take. It was universal throughout the medical field. Only thing you can take for pain while pregnant is Tylenol. Right. Now, if you look it up, they'll tell you, and there's documentation that they're saying, do nope, not. do not, because it, 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 it's it's known now to give children ADHD-like symptoms, which to me is just like having flu-like symptoms when you have the flu. It's the flu, right? And so, um, the and then I'm like, well, why, why, right? Okay, sure, it's easy to distract, right? So you can't stay on, you know, like, you be mad one day, like, fuck this, you know, this is wrong, this is wrong, and then next thing you know, you're like, what am I talking about? Like you're onto something else, right? Like you're not you're yeah. not able to stay on point when it talks about when you realize you're being fucked over with by some shit, right? I thought that was the initial right reasoning behind it. At least I thought, but now there's studies, and I realize that that ain't it. It's 
it's is deeper than that, right? Like they knew that these cell phones were coming, I believe, right? Like I think that they knew that this technology was going to hit and that they were prepped. That was the prep, right? Like just like you go into surgery and they put that beta dine on your ass before they start cutting you open. Mm -hmm. This is the the ADHD was the beta dine for the the cell phone and the fucking addiction that it is, right? And because again, the lack of dopamine that you have when you have ADHD. That what ADHD is? Yes. A lack of dopamine? Yep. And you're constantly trying to find enough to get you back to regular? You're just trying to find something, right, that generates that, whether it's a fucking excitement or a fucking drug. It's something yeah, that, know that. That, that, that that gets you geeked up and, and re gets that to release in your head where more people that don't have ADHD, they just have natural dopamine being released in them. Mm -hmm. with, you, have, you have a deficiency, so now you're looking for something that's going to cause that release. And it could be, you know, you fucking like to do fucking cliff jumping or you like to fucking do whatever the shit. You like to have fucking non-protected sex with fucking strangers, right? I <laughs> strangers, I said. You oh, know, don't let Right, it. right. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, <laughs> you got to be, hey, like Jay Smooth said, everybody's a friend, you know, at some point, right? I have no, no, never met a stranger. <laughs> never. <laughs> so um, you do other shit, right? You have a, you know. Like, again, when I first was diagnosed, the doctor that diagnosed me had it. And he's like, look, people with ADHD are natural born addicts. Not to say that they're addicts to drugs, but there are going to, there's going to be something in you that gets you that dopamine release that you keep coming back to it. Right. And you're like, this is what I fucking want to keep doing because I know this is what gives me that, that fucking dopamine that I don't have otherwise. Um, but with the cell phone, that's, that's the new one. The, the cell phone is a dopamine releaser. And that's why so many people are now addicted to it that were obviously prepped. Because I remember when I first got diagnosed, I was in my 30s, and I was working for a company. And um, when I went and I was talking about it to people, I swear, like, 9 out of 10 people that I would tell the symptoms and why how I got diagnosed and why they thought that I had it, they were like, I might have it. I'm yeah. like, and I'm like, yo, really? Like, I don't, I mean. Shit, I looked into it after you started telling me. I'm like, maybe I got this shit. <laughs> right, because again, there's a lot of symptoms that a majority of us have. And um, I didn't know that <clears throat> you got that from the cell phone. Because again, I use my cell phone, but it's more for watching sports, really, or porn, or occasionally I play a game, but there's not too many games. Like, again, I'll, I'll get off a game real quick. Yeah. I, I won't I won't hold my attention. Like, I'm but, on Monopoly Go right now. But you mentioned you use your cell phone for porn and movie and, and sports. Those are dopamine releases, though. Sure, but I could watch that during... I, but I could watch that during on TV as well, but I just don't have cable at all. But again, so you're right, because mm -hmm. I was I was addicted to watching... Like, I, I when I watched Laker basketball, or, you know, back in the day, it was not appropriate the way that I felt when we would lose or when like when, a game, when, when the game when the game wouldn't go my way and my parents would be like there's no reason why you should be this upset or this down I knew or a nigga like that he used to throw his joysticks and shit like, we're playing I'm like bro you gonna buy a new joystick every time I beat you? <laughs> like, like like this is not like you're especially during the Kobe Shaq days right like I just I just figure we should always win right and then not only that we, I was living in Sacramento, and their prime rival at that time was Sacramento. Right. And so it was uh, it was a problem because not only did I have to fucking lose, I had to hear it. Well, that one year y'all stole the shit. We didn't steal shit. shit. You crazy as fuck. Man, stop it. We didn't right. steal shit. That team was better than y'all and beat y'all. No, they didn't beat us. Yo, you crazy as fuck. You don't, you didn't. So either. No, I'm not. Either, I, ADHD. I'm not no, going to let you get off. No, 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 either, no, either, no, 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 we, no. We, the ADHD is going to keep me on it because, again, either you know basketball or you don't. That I know was, basketball. Then, then you knew that back then they didn't even have a zone. You could not play a zone. There was a. But they started calling it that one game. Well, again, so again, that's not my fault. They were letting them in it. They let them in it. He said that's not my my fault. Like, so, he was actually part of the team. No, no. So, again, no. It's not, my it's, it's not my fault that they let you guys fucking play a zone I on Shaq. I can't. So, they let the them play all the other games with that same style of defense. That one elimination game, that's the game they couldn't play no more. I can't. It, well, that's the rules, right? So, the rules are still the rules. So, they Why let the them rule? cheat. They let them. So, again, so to look at it from a different lens, they let them fucking cheat to put them in it to that point. Because, again, if you don't let these motherfuckers play a zone on Shaq, we're not even getting to this elimination game, right? I um hey, Sacramento. Look, I can't even I, name there was the questionable five. things that happened in that series. There were a lot of them, but 
But in Game Seven, Sacramento lost that shit, shit the because bed. they could yeah, not but, hit a free throw. Yeah, but save their what life. about Game Six, Five, Four, Three, Two, One? Uh, I can name the starting five of the. But that's Sacramento like, Kings. but that's like the Warriors and the, the, the Cavs Ivy, though. That's like Weber. the Warriors and the Cavs though. And when they played uh, the second time, and the and the Cavs won. Like you can say there was all kinds of questionable shit. The only that questionable shit was the Draymond seven. suspension. Yeah, there was all kinds of questionable shit. But. I can't name the, the starting five of the Lakers that year, but I can name the Sacramento starting five. So that's what I'm saying. Like that team wasn't better than Sacramento that year. Well, we Shaq have and Kobe Shaq. Alone. Right. Thank no, you, bro. Stop it, man. Shaq and Kobe are two people. There were five great players on the other team. Bro, they there's no all... answer for Shaq. There was not. There like, wasn't. That team was Divac, Bibby, Weber. Pasia. Pasia and was because the, the literally black, it was up to Scott. Christie. It was up Del to Scott Pollard. And the Pollard. sixth man was Bobby Jackson. Yeah, it was up to they Scott were Pollard dope to, as fuck, to, to you guard. Know uh, but he's right though. They didn't have an answer for Shaq. Yeah, because but there's Weber no answer for Shaq him. ever. No, there's never an answer for Weber Shaq. Weber couldn't guard him. Divac couldn't guard him. Only Scott Pollard was able to guard him. And but that was and that was Scott mediocre. Pollard. Well, right. no, Vladi Divac to me wasn't a defensive guy though. He wasn't. But he doesn't. He but was a he, flopper but on Scott defense. Pollard was he the only was. guy that was, was able to, like, guard Shaq, though. That's just because like, of his size, though. Had. It wasn't because of his skill. He was just big enough. Right. Vladdy Divac was a skinny nigga. And small compared, yeah. We'll and and the whole thing with him getting traded for Kobe, it was just, that was, it was in the stars. That wasn't supposed to happen. But I'm saying the starting five of the Sacramento Kings that year and the six man were far better than the five and six of the Lakers that year. Yes, they had Kobe and Shaq, who two are two of the best ever. I'll give you that. But, for sure. Kobe, Fisher is Fox. Get the fuck Bibi, out of here. Bibi was over what, Fisher. Up. Fish, get out of here with Fish. Come Bibi on, was over Fisher. Fish was just the nigga that was, the cool nigga that was on the crew. Bro, the crew. Chris we Weber was a, over. They, who was they, the, they changed the rule because of Fish. The four second rules because of Fish. <sighs> right? You can't you can't do that. They changed the back down rule because of because of Charles Barkley. He never won a title. Come on, man. That don't mean nothing. But he's still great. <laughs> he, okay, I'm not okay. Fish ain't great though. Fish is good. He's good. He was Fish good. Fish ain't great. He he was good. Wasn't Smush Parker on that team? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that team. Who was, was your starting five? It was Fisher, Fish, Kobe, Kobe, Fox, Ori, and uh, Rick Shaq. Rick Fox? Yeah. Okay. Because that's Fo- when Rick Fox got yeah, Rick beat Fox up by was, Doug Christie. But yeah, Rick Fox was wasn't a no three. baller. Fix, Rock, Rick Fox was great, but he, uh, good, but he wasn't no you said real. He was coming off the bench or starting. No, nah, he was starting. Yeah, he was the power forward. Right? Right. Robert Horry. Yeah, Chris Webber was. Come on, man. Come on bro. We, nobody thinks Big Robert. Big Shot Bob? Everybody calls him Big Shot Bob, but they also say that he wasn't great. He was just in certain Great spots. Places. He but had his time. He hit his he hits he hits big shots. And the one that he hit in game three of that same series mm-hmm. when we were fucking down, that's that's the one, bro. Like, I mean, that that's a, you know that's an crazy? iconic shot. You know what's crazy what we're arguing about here though? Look at listen to those names we just called out. Listen to those, those ten players that, that suited up on the court. Name those those games now. You can't do it anymore. Nah. They don't have teams like that no more. It's niggas that's mediocre, that's not really that's not really ballers, playing with some real ballers. Right. And then that's the team. It's because niggas don't play their roles no more. Yeah. Yes. Niggas yeah. don't they yes. don't believe in the role yeah. of that's that's why like a guy like Pat Bev, no matter what, he's always gonna be in a team because he fucking does his role. He, yeah, he knows yeah, what he's supposed he, to do. He's yeah. supposed to go on the floor and and, and hustle yeah. and piss people off. PJ Tucker's another guy like that. Like they're yeah. still playing. PJ Tucker like his thirties. Yeah, he'll play Tucker forty like 30, minutes, zero points, but yeah. hustle every minute of that forty. He'll get minutes. tips. He'll get uh, 50, 50 balls. He'll, yeah. those kind of things. He'll box out. With and, his, and I think that's AAU and he don't culture. Care. And he don't AAU care. culture. I was, I was just gonna up. say AAU because everybody's a star in AAU. And then how do you go from being a that? Well, everybody wants to be a star. He was a star probably when he was in high school. He was the man. Yeah, you know but, what I'm saying? But, you know, as you move up, niggas start getting better than you. Yep. Uh, it's an hour and 20 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. That was, who cares that about That was ADD, the, you know? Who cares about the Lakers? Don't put me in sports and porn. In fact, right. in fact, that, fuck that gave the me a rush. That did give me a rush. Can I, I say fuck the Lakers? Is it no, good? nigga, no. Well, you you can't, agree, Pop? Nigga, fuck the Hawks. You, you can say <laughs> fuck the you Lakers. Can say, you can say fuck the Hawks. You don't agree? We got 16 Frank, of them. Seven. You don't agree? Fuck the Lakers? We got no, 17 LeBron's of them. On that team. Are you a Boston guy? Boston no, he's versus a LeBron Lakers. Guy. A LeBron he's a LeBron guy. guy. Uh, Le- the Celtics Lakers are a Lakers. division rival, so yeah. Yeah, fuck them niggas, right? <laughs> I'm a Warrior fan. Fritz, you, so, yeah. you a sellout. I'm a LeBron man. guy. If niggas they hate on LeBron, I would I would be able to say fuck the Lakers, but I made it a priority. Right, wait, what, is that, made it what a priority. does that have to do with it? Because he's a LeBron fan. Yeah, I mean, let's, a... let's take a shot to the fucking <laughs> the Lakers and LeBron. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Lakers are not going to win this what year. What does the season hey, look yo, like with yeah, LeBron? Okay, no, no, no. Like I, I, I'm not know. saying that. Okay. What, is, what does the I'm season definitely... look like with LeBron? This, this is what? This He's is 21. looking good. 21. 21, 21, and he went ham. It's only against a few the Suns. Games. Even though they lost yesterday against the Kings, he still went ham and Anthony, Anthony Davis. 
LeBron still looks like LeBron. I was it's funny how that shit worked because the Lakers beat us and we beat the Kings and then and then uh, who's the we? Kings beat I thought the you were Kings Golden fan. State. Oh, Golden oh, he's State. a he's a Sacramento dweller. I'm but, from Sacramento, born and raised, but 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 he. So why you Warriors. end up being a Warriors fan? Uh, it's my mom's fault actually, because <laughs> when I was young, she got us started with like collecting basketball cards and things of that nature, and that's kind of how I like started. Kind of getting into basketball. This is this is what I say and what I know. They won. No, no. This no. is what I say and what I know. At, at at least when I was growing up in the eighties and nineties, everybody in California was Laker fans because there was you crazy as fuck. There was no, no other nope, fucking. Nope. You crazy. telling the truth? No, he's no, not. Because he's telling that, the truth. That, that few that few year, little years there where uh where uh. uh Baron Davis, Latrell Sprewell, and and um and number ten. What's number ten? Point guard crossover. Hardaway. Oh, you Hardaway. Away, oh no, because that was not even the same Chris team. Chris Mullen. Yeah, that's not the same. That's not even team. the same team. That's not. That's not the same team. M- Mullen so, and Mullen. Uh, uh, Hardaway. Spreewell, no, no. Hardaway. Mullen was not the same part of team. team. No, it was. It was. It was. Uh, Run Web- DMC. Weber? No, no, no. Weber, Weber wasn't even there. Weber was on Spreewell's team. That, that, okay. And for a year. Okay. He was only there for a year, and then he got traded to Washington. But anyways, it was uh, Hardaway. It was uh, Mitch Richmond. And, and then it and, was uh, and, uh, Mitch uh, Richmond. That's what I'm talking uh, about. Uh, what's the name? The white boy, uh, Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen, right? And then and then we fast forward to uh, Carl's years, where we had Baron Davis and who uh, sucked Stephen Jackson. Who sucked their team when I said that team? I thought it was my son. That was a a ball. That, right. that was I the like team. That team. They, that team. That did, was like a they, redeemed team. They called because the they like came back. That was the year Baron Davis dunked on AK forty seven. Right, and they upset and they upset Dallas. The number one seed. Right. Yeah, yeah. That was that was Stephen Jackson and them too was in that team. Matt Barnes. Yeah. Yeah. Jason Richardson. That was a so they, it hasn't always been. I had been Richardson like, jersey again, from that era. That, that's it, it you, we're in the two thousands in this year when we're talking about that. Yeah, bro. that's oh three. Yeah, that, those are two thousands. But to Prior answer to his question, I became a fan in like ninety ninety one somewhere around there or whatnot. But like but, when 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 the Lakers heyday with Magic, there was no other team in in California that no one fuckers root for. It wasn't the Clippers. It wasn't the sorry ass Kansas City Kings that came from Kansas City and out Sacramento that monarchs. nobody the monarchs right, that were fucking right the monarchs that nobody even knew about and it wasn't fucking the Rick Barry fucking Warriors because that was in the seventies oh, no, not monarchs Royals it the was Royals the Kansas right. City Royals mm-hmm. it, oh, that's a baseball it, it, team they, but that was the name of the basketball team too the, oh, just wow. like just like the San Francisco Giants were the New York Giants just like the football team well wow, the Dodgers wow. yep the Dodgers oh, yeah the Dodgers is mm-hmm. Brooklyn. Yeah. I mean, y'all get some teams on uh, hand me downs. You know what I'm saying? What, you, what are you y'all, saying? Y'all, the Lakers weren't even from LA. This bro. really proves Jamie Mack po- uh, thing with the addiction porn and sports, man. Because it's like no, but I could, I could do, rush. yeah, I could do sport dopamine <laughs> arguments all day, but that shit gets mad. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a rush. Yeah, like, that's you and Hooch all day long. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're at an hour and twenty minutes. Okay, I thought we were at an hour and twenty minutes. He said that before, but it was one seventeen. <laughs> Time stop. No, I was at rounding up. So what do you think? You saying that we need to stop, get rid of phones? No, I'm just saying that's that's just part. No, nope, I'm just saying that it's it's. He's gonna take you back into it. Yeah, it's, I'm just saying that that was already part of the deal. Like it was, this is pre-programmed. Like this is part of the plan. Like you saying, well, how the fuck do all these motherfuckers running shit it, or you know co co. Um, my, my. Residents in fucking in in America and Israel. Well, how the <laughs> fuck how the fuck do we all get ADHD and then get equipped with these devices that are fucking that primed fuel our ADHD? Right, right, yep. right, right. That are primed for this. Like you know, what I mean, yeah. it's like you know, I, I, like even with COVID, I remember, like I said, it was bullshit because I know at my job, uh, I was working in the financial industry. They prepped us like like they knew it was coming. Like they they had us ready with walls of fucking computers, home, and this is before we wasn't even doing no work from home shit. We didn't have a work from home group at all. Everybody had to get tested. It was mandatory. You had to go home and test your shit, make sure you had the appropriate shit, and then all of a sudden, once everybody did, it was like, oh, bam, we're shutting down the world, but you guys are not gonna fucking shut down. You guys are gonna go home and work, right? Because it it was it looked like there was preparation for shit that nobody knew was coming, but someone knew was coming. And it's the same thing with this fucking these wait, phones. Wait, wait. They sent y'all home before COVID. Yes. No, they prepped they, they them. They prepped them. They prepped them to they go home. They even said because I remember when he was talking about it. They even said like, if something ever happens, we want to make sure huh. you guys are still able to work <laughs> at home. And literally, like, and then and literally, later, if something happens. Do me a favor when you get a chance, look up the CEO of that company and tell me if they're Jewish. <laughs> I'm, se- I'm serious. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Don't do it right now. Right. But as soon as you stop talking and you get a chance, right. look up that CEO and see if that's who it, if that, what it is. Yeah, because and I felt at like, that time because he probably. 
got another job now. Yeah, yeah, he probably <laughs> didn't leveled up for sure, yeah. right? Like you know what I mean. But at the same, now, time... they don't. But see, that's the thing. They don't level up. They just move around. That's what I'm saying. These CEOs will go wreck a company and then get a job somewhere else, yeah. even though they wild. wreck the company. Right. And, and so I, I knew that. I was like, why are these fucking computers? Like, I mean, walls of laptops. You know, sitting here. And then this is like what the end of you know November in 2019 and shit. And then it's like, hurry up, go home, and you have to take these home and figure out if your shit works and uh, test all this shit. And I'm like, are we about to start a fucking work from home program? In that when I had COVID that first time though, that was undiagnosed. It was yeah. either October or November, yeah. right? Yeah, because I had it early. Yeah. And my, yeah, and, and you and, were sick for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm um, over a month. And a, and a you said motherfucker, November, December. No, like October, November. Yeah, October, November. And a motherfucker that went to um, that was on my team. He went back to New York, and he came back. And I remember thinking, like, nigga, like three weeks later, you still coughing, my dude? I'm right. like, what I was the sick fuck? Forever. I'm like, what do you got? And he got mad at me, and I'm like, listen, I'm not trying to say you can't come to work, but goddamn, you've been doing this coughing shit. Yeah. From behind me. For you were sick for a whole week, and then you've been back for three, and you still, still sick. right? You still <laughs> yeah. sick, my dog. Like, what is this? Right. And so, yeah, I, I, I know that it was definitely present before they announced its presence. You know what I mean? And they knew some shit was about to happen before. Fast backwards to fucking these, you know, giving everybody mandatory pregnant women. The only thing you can do is the shit that gives motherfuckers ADHD. Yeah. To then now. We're gonna get, equip everybody with these devices that stimulate and trigger ADHD like fucking responses. Like this is something that will soothe their, or you know your ADHD ness, right? And so now, I think it's like when we talk about people walking across the street, not even fucking looking, or fucking everywhere you go, that someone's in their phone, and you're just like, gosh, damn it, this is this is like a disease almost. And I think it's all planned. This shit is not so by happenstance. So what's the angle? Because the angle is you dumb us all down. What happens? Well, if you have you're a dumb population, well, well, what, if, what do you do A now? dumb population is easier to control than a smart one, I would think. Hell say. yeah. Yeah, okay. But like once you got them so dumb, like controlling them is like a hard task now because they won't listen. No, it's listen. not. You just got to put it through their phone. No, it's not. Right. You, don't, you don't tell them anymore. You just put it through their phone. Yeah. Right. So you you provide the vehicle. They're going to believe that better than they're going to believe But my thing is if they like I guess I guess I'm thinking about like once they reach when they you start with ADHD, then you put the chemicals in the food. Like eventually like we just not going to be able to do anything anymore. Oh, we'll be able to do what they want us to do, though. Exactly. Right. Work. Uh, we'll be able mm-hmm. to keep doing what they want us to do. We just won't be able we'll to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll turn the, we'll turn the yeah. cogs in the system is what we'll do. Oh, okay. Well, you're not a vegetable. You just don't... You just no, don't... you're not a vegetable. But, but think about it. All this shit they put in the food is killing us. So what happens when you start to kill everybody? Well, you, that's it's why you, you quick because right. you're slow. It's a yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not an instant death. And again, but eventually, over time, you keep doing it. And well, doing it. the reason why they want to kill you off like that is so that way they don't have to pay you when you're not useful. Anymore. I mean, your children will keep it going. Right. So when when you get to a non-working state and now you're sick as fuck. What bye. happens now with like a generation like my generation who's either choosing to have kids super late or choosing to not have kids at all because... Or choosing to change into their fucking gender so you can't have a kid. Yeah, what happens with when... Because that's what's happening. Hey, look, so I'm, I'm, I'm honestly with you on that and I honestly think that, that it's bigger than that, honestly, because I think all the transgender gay shit and all that is... is, is it's a plan too. What's no, the plan course. though? But what's the plan? Is well, it population control? Yeah, that's definitely. Population that's what it control. is. It's population Absolutely. control. That and that that's that's an easy way to make people want to do it for themselves. Like, yeah. man, you ain't got to. We ain't even got to do nothing. Yeah, Y'all gonna gotta, do it yourselves. You ain't got to <laughs> euthanize no people. You just this is how you do it. And I mean, for years though, they've been they've been treating Africa like, well, you got what? Nah, we ain't fucking with y'all. They've been letting people in Africa die for years and years and years and years and years and years. Right. Encouraging it almost. Right. Like, still finding way to Not sending out. the vaccine over to the remember when that COVID shit was happening and they yeah. weren't sending the vaccine over there? Right. Like they were like, the vaccine is great, but we're not sending it to Africa. <laughs> and Africa's like, God, like, that's damn. fine, but we don't even have COVID. Well, no, it's great that they didn't, because those African people are probably like, Yes, I'm glad you're right. Right. <laughs> right. Keep your fucking clots. But they've been doing Africa like that for many, many years. So yeah. they, it's just population control. They know that the the easiest, the easiest way to do it is to make you want it. And now they got people your age wanting it. They want to not reproduce. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah cuz cost of living, world problems, just not seeing healthy <laughs> world fam- problem. Hey, not hey, seeing I'm gonna pull one of your families. numbers. Uh, the usual suspects when he said the greatest trick the ever, the devil ever did was convince the world he didn't exist. Yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly what's happening, right? Like it's just not and it's so like outlandish the devil don't exist? Yeah, yeah, he said the, the the greatest trick the devil ever did was convince the world he didn't exist. He and, convinced the world that? 
Oh, boy, God. here we go. Listen, hey, what about that? <laughs> you sent me. What did oh you sent me? A, you sent me a movie clip about some shit, and you were like, "Yo, um, on on Twitter, it, it might have been Instagram, where you were like, "Yo, it, it's about a movie where there's yeah, a yeah, fucking uh, another pandemic, and then it's 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 worse than COVID. They use COVID and times ten. Who are you talking about? It's like a mo- a movie about the future that's coming out soon. Oh, so the devil didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> to me, when when I see all the bullshit in the world, I always say the devil's working great. Like he's doing his, he's he's, out he's of working overtime. Time. That's a Jay Smoothism. I know you call the devil because they be saying it. Well, yeah, some, yeah, some yeah, 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 yeah. They say somebody else, but somebody every somebody. every time, like right now, I'm like, yo, the devil's running shit right now. He's having a run like no other. These last decade, this nigga been on a run. These last decade, <laughs> decades, I should say, he's been on a run. These multiple last like sixties, seventies, eighties. I think we were changing to be better, and I don't know. Reagan came, and he just Reagan. <laughs> he just went on. A were run. you alive when Reagan was here? No, no but, but I just knows, look at the timeline of what the fuck when shit started to fuck up. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just what year? Did, what year were you born? 80, I was born in ninety four. Ninety. Oh my god. Yeah, you was already a teenager, a grown ass man. <laughs> Reagan was dead before you were alive. I feel like. Yeah. By the time I was born, yeah, yeah. I think he was dead. Oh my god. Ninety four. I was thirteen. In ninety four? In ninety four I was I was a year out of high school. I was in college. Yeah, I was That's uh, crazy. Yeah. I don't know what I was doing. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, like you, me and your dad was doing the same shit. <laughs> cause, cause my daughter was born in '93. So shit. I'm glad I was on the West Coast. We might have seen, met each other in the club, me and Pops and shit. Like, what it do? <laughs> yeah. Beamer, Benz, and Bentleys. Yeah, by the time I was born, though, my Pops already had a 17 and a 14 year old. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. I, I, to me, that's, I ain't gonna lie. Like, my son is 11 years younger than my, my daughter. And honestly, I thought I was done. And so when that happened, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, yo, because again, it's like a reset button. Yeah. It's like, yo, like, 11 to 18, that's like seven years to the boo-boo. Like, I'm like, woohoo, And it's like, nope. Nope. We start, Reset. We, we starting all over Reset. again. And I got, yeah, that was a whole setup, too. But we won't get oh into that. Oh, God. <laughs> dead ass. I'm just tripping off the fact that you're more and more like Jay Smooth. You said it hit me like a ton of bricks. And all I could see was Jay Smooth saying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you do What do you do When the chick that you're dating uh, Is supposedly um, on birth control But uh, frequently forgets to take her pills That's Is that a setup Pull out That's a, No but again Again That was my that was my choice right That was my thinking right Okay yeah pull out right You know And then I'm you, good Right And then there's the, You know One time She said one, she was good and let you do it Or are you like you didn't know, and she's like, "No, no, go ahead." No, like I, I would check the pack, right? And I'd be like, "Yo, there's, 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 you did, I mean, Tuesday's still in here, and it's Wednesday." Hold on a second. And they'd be like, "Oh, I just double up," and then I just yeah, double. That shit don't work. Yeah, and I don't know, you know. I mean, hold, like, on, hold on a second. Yeah. French said he n- always pulls out. Hmm. Always, every single time you've had sex, you pulled out, or had a condom on. He just you, hope it get his lip. If I have a condom on, never if nutted, I have a condom you, on, you've never nothing in the pussy. If I have a condom on, yeah. I'll that, don't, that don't matter. That don't matter. Really Listen to what I'm saying to you. Yeah. You've never nutted in a pussy. Wow. I've I've nutted on the pussy, but no, no, I no, no not, not on it. Not on. It. Not on. No, I've nutted in a pussy, in. but I knew this girl was on the on the, on the bird control. Like I know the she, who bird. What? <laughs> she was on bird control. control. I know she wasn't gonna like play about that shit because she was more serious about not getting pregnant than I was. And she let you skeet in there. Cause she, she yeah, many, cause she how, was heavy on the birth. She was, she was heavy on. She was heavy. How many how many times did you do this? When me and her used to do it, yeah. How many times, my nigga? I mean, like whenever we had sex. I mean, like I'm multiple out, times, like, multiple so, times. Tw- more than twenty? Yeah. You nutted in a pussy more than twenty times. Yeah. Okay. Why'd you act like that? Don't seem like the nigga no, I was talking to a few n- minutes no, ago. No, because who was trying to figure <laughs> out because how he ever done it? Because his example was talking about a girl saying that, oh, I am on birth control. So you think, like, okay, she says she's on birth control. I can fuck. If I don't really have a real rapport with that girl, yeah. even if she tells me she's on birth control, 
I'm pulling out. Common sense, French. I don't yeah. think anybody, I hope I hope nobody listening would trust just some girl who says she's on and you don't know her that well. Right. Yeah. A lot of niggas do that. Not saying Jane Knight. No, no, no. I was living with A lot of niggas, niggas is like, oh, oh shit. shit. She's on Ooh. birth control. They, they, they no, think I this ain't is... gotta pull out. You know what nah, I mean? They, like, they want an excuse type of thing. Like, shit. I want an excuse. Listen, I was. I was yeah, me, I I've always been the nigga that I've been scared to get a girl pregnant. I'm not scared. I've tell me you're clean. Been that nigga, bro. <laughs> just tell me. I just tell me you're clean. You just lie to me. Tell me you're clean. Great, no condom. I don't know why. Like growing up, I was more scared of getting a girl pregnant than catching an STD. Oh no! I don't really? know why. Because in your generation, the STDs are different. Crazy, but I don't know why. I always was like, y'all got that forever shit. Right, forever <laughs> shit. Like, like the right, first... stuff that's not supposed to be forever. Right. It's forever with like, y'all. For, for, yeah. Forever, for, forever, forever. Like, like, that was like my my say. For y'all got reason. another another shot. Yeah, because we yeah. That, yeah, that was, I was wondering what to we were do this fucking one. off because that's what we done this this whole episode. Yeah, <laughs> it's, the, it's the ADHD <laughs> episode. Take, take a shot to fucking like the off. whole topic was about how we get easily distracted, bro. I like we, we talked about it. better though, but <laughs> none yeah. pussy, yeah, none yeah. pussy. For Dredgy, like I don't know about that. She was heavy on the pill. Yeah, that sounds like a addict, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like somebody was like doing heroin or something. She was heavy on the on the needle. And it's like a play in worlds because you know because you know girls get heavier when they take the pill because their hormones get messed up. So it's like heavier on the pill. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, they do. And, and to finish that story, right? So how I got my son? Which story, nigga? The, my son with the with the birth control. Oh, okay. One time, like I'm not I'm not nutting in. I'm on some regular French Reggie shit. Like I'm pull out Pat, right? And then this motherfucker keep it in. Like we just hot and heavy, keep it in. And I, who she ain't kept gonna, it in? She wrapped it. She no, wrapped no, it? no. She told you just told you. You didn't have to. You didn't have to. Oh, she, she told you. <laughs> you didn't have to. Body language, right? It was no. It was no extra like. Force needed. You just all you had to do is tell me. Mm. Just, 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 keep, you just keep it. Yeah, and I stayed in. And but wow. So you changed. She trapped you. It felt like it because she had a plan, right? <laughs> yeah, of how long, how far the kids that she already so she already had a daughter, and how far she wanted to have that space between that kid and the next kid. And oh, and, wow. and, and and it just so happens it that's feels dirty. So she just so happens that's the that bad? I need a shower. <laughs> I feel dirty now. <laughs> that's the, it. Just so happens that's how the distance. Between yeah. our my son and my daughter. So she was. So I, I just want to understand. She she wanted the second kid no matter what. By yes. that age though. By, By the age, age separation yeah. from the daughter. Yeah. Okay, right. Wow. That feel. I feel. I feel like Damn. I need to take a shower now. Right. Yeah. That's that's about as coincidental as every single leader of every single part <laughs> of the CDC being Jewish. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Yeah. That is. And the fact that she and, told you that, and, and you and, knew that, and well, listen, <laughs> and you kept it in again. So again, I didn't <laughs> the the I didn't know that the double up didn't work, right? Like, because I had heard other chicks say that, right? Like, oh, I missed a day. I just take two. Right? Uh, did, did you go back and see if those two were taken? Yeah, no, dude. Yeah, I don't, you can't stack them though. Yeah, you and, can't. But I was just wondering if he checked those two. Oh yeah, for say, sure. I was just, uh, just, just in my mind, I'm just like they probably were still there. Well, to see, be honest. And then like two months, two months pass, right? She just talking. About, I'm bloated. I'm bloated. I'm like, yeah, you yeah, bloated. You bloated. You pregnant. R- r- bloated is happening. We're, we're, different. we're acting. <laughs> we're acting like because the shit is not in the packet, that means they took it. Like they can just throw that shit in the trash. Talk. That's real yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah. That's do do you? What if she's in the other things that not the pill the the little IUD, the IUD. I don't know. Did that I, one, they don't have I to do shit. It? Did I see it happen? How do you know that they're right? On that? You can feel those rings. Sometimes, you can feel. Yeah, you do. Like the talking about the ones with the arm, the Nuva, the Nuva ring or whatever. No. no, the one that the the one that goes up inside. You can yeah. feel that, so you know that it's there. Right. But um, stuff like IUD, I don't know if you can feel that. Or not. To me, I didn't. I, how do, no how plant do, that goes under the skin on the arm. Like how, that, do, how do we having sex when you got some metal or even plastic right. shit down in the bottom of the? B- Honestly, fuck all that birth control. Yeah, shit. birth control is all awful up. for you. All of yeah, it. Like, I don't. I don't want my woman on that. I'd rather. I would rather just pull out every single time. Right. Like, or wear a condom. That that all that all that hormone and um changing the homo- shit the, the 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 hormonal imbalance and the weight thing all of it is but all of them the Norplant the uh, IUD the uh, the ring the Nuvo ring all that shit plays with hormones bro and you you who are we to play with those and yeah. the and the and the old school IUDs were metal and looking like some old like hook like yeah. you copper, like you, go, you talking about the copper yeah ones? like you going to fishing and shit like yeah, there's, see, that's not, wild. there's there's that, there's like uh, that's just that's just horrible. That it doesn't seems, even seem hygienic. Yeah. Do, you, do you think this should it make it painful, for us? But right. I feel like no. we'll have crazy side effects no, too. No. Like we would get angry. They I feel like what he says, the old school pullout is, is. You the gotta best. just pull out, bro. <laughs> that's, that's pull out, or you do the Catholic <laughs> method. Like you just follow the calendar, and then you know, hey, 
Fuck that. No, the calendar matters though. No, the no. calendar fucking matters. No, no one when she's ovulating or not is trust a, is a big, Yeah, all big that matters. Deal. But to say to trust that as your birth no, control, no, 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 no. and I'm finna you, be nut and pussy based no, on no, the no, calendar no. dates. Fuck that. Just, you got to include that with. Pulling with out. The, with pulling the pulling out, out yeah. yeah. You gotta yeah. pull out. Because on an ovulation period, we just like, don't even fuck. You, you, the the, the pre shit can get that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ovulation, you screwed. But like, if you do the week after, because your sperm can only live for three days. So <laughs> in your dick, it can live forever. Right. In your dick, I'm talking about when you nut inside of a girl, that sperm can. How long stay did it last in her on your lip? Three days. <laughs> it, didn't live, it, it didn't live that Seconds long flat. at all. That shit Seconds was, flat. That shit was. Oh, I, I'm saying no pause. So, so so if if you got her, if you nut in her, like a couple of days after, you, yeah. you 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 should be fine. So three days later, it was some living sperm swimming around his French Reggie's stomach. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Like like we still here. Right. Like, Yuck. Um, I I read somewhere that pull out is eighty five percent as effective. Okay, which pull out you talking about? The you one talk- where you pull your dick out of the no, person. no, no, because it's two different types of pull out. <laughs> There's two different types of pull out. There's the pull out when you pull out super early and you let her give you head and you nut, and there's the pull out like right, 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 right before. Because the pre cum can fuck you up though, like you were saying, the yeah. pre cum. Nah, well, you said pre cum the whole no. time you fucking. Nah. Stop, right. stop, no, no. Okay, nah, I'm talking about the no. pull out like. We right. gotta time it perfectly. It's so loud. So pre-cum. we're not talking facts anymore. We need to go. We need to go back to the facts. Pre cum has no sperm in it. Stop it. I've heard this. No, pre-cum you're wrong. You pregnant. You're wrong. Listen, pre cum has no sperm in it. There's two. There's two fluids. There's semen and there's sperm. Yeah. Semen is just a vehicle that helps the sperm get yeah. to the yeah. cervix, and then the sperm can go forward. Now, what I think Pac was talking about, which he he didn't he didn't explain explain it all the way. If you nut. Rest, start fucking again. The pre cum then, right, has sperm in it, right? Because you, you've and already you can get busted, somebody right. pregnant. Oh, because you already busted. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. It's already your in the your tube. initial pre cum has oh, no sperm in it. I was thinking that's, initial pre cum. All that's there is to wet the Shit, pussy up, wet your dick up. A lot of Plan Bs then. Yeah. <laughs> that pre that original, the, the initial pre cum is just to lubricate the the two parts. Because sometimes I didn't trust my timing. I was like, we may have to get a plan but B. no. I heard <laughs> I read somewhere that eighty five percent of the time. Uh, pulling out works And a condom is what 93 99. No it's not 99 uh, It's not 99 it's like, I thought it was 70 pocket, I thought the 99. condom was 70 something It's lower than 90 No it's well, like 90 I think that's an STD transmission Is what he's talking about I oh, think Because in the packet They show 99 I think that's for STD transmission Probably for but, STD Right Yeah, yeah but the uh, condom isn't 100% yeah, yeah, And no. neither is But pulling out is effective If you do it If you do it at if the right time yeah, 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 if, if you, you don't do wait too long I you can't get one shot in and be like, oh, I pulled out the other yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. The rest of them. <laughs> that don't work. Nah. Yeah, you got to pull out early enough. I just wonder, like. Believe me, I know. I had kids on purpose. <laughs> you had kids on purpose? Yeah, I had kids on purpose. What does that mean? That I'm, means I'm that a I black tried. guy. Like, I'm play, a black guy. Right? What yeah, do you that, mean? That, like, that, walk that, me through look, that. That means that it was all pull out game until she, I decided that I wanted to have Paralee. S- I let it go inside. So you got. And then no, no, no. She convinced no, no, me no, to no, ride her, no, and no, then no. I went inside. Uh, <laughs> that you skipped some steps. Yeah, yeah. You skipped a bunch <laughs> of shit. You didn't talk about the nigga. planning of yeah. wanting the kids. You're saying that you, you meant to have them. Yeah. Did, did you mean to have them at the moment you were fucking, or was there like a conversation? You know, we sh- I'm going I'm to leave this thing in there this time. Like we should have a kid. Let's 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 let's, put let's work way. on having I'll a kid. I'll put it this way: when when I had my middle daughter, I planned that. She had no idea. <laughs> oh, you trapped her. He tripped right. I was about to say the reverse trap. So, I planned that. She so what no made idea. you decide to do it that 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 night? Like oh, he did ASAP Rocky to Riri. Like I'm gonna put a baby up in there. Yeah, you gotta I, do that. If it's real. I, I was ready at that point. I you gotta like, do that. You know what? Like, you got yeah. three kids, right? I got. I have three, but two of them are blood mine. I'm oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Okay. So the first one, you guys. The first of your kids, you guys actually had a conversation about no, it? He no, just, he, he no. He just wanted it. He was just like, you know what? That's the one the you just decided. The third one, we had a conversation. Okay. So the what, second one, I just decided t- I was t- no, ready no, for No, no, tell it. me about that, bro. I'm black. I don't know what that means. Tell me about, <laughs> tell me about y'all discussing. How no, no, y'all... I get it. Look, like I say all the time, like Homer says, Homer says, what do you mean, planet? <laughs> Babies just happen. <laughs> I was playing. Out of all, I was the one Your that parents was... were like what? 70, so yeah. like. What? Hold up. What the fuck? What would make you think like after all them years to be like, let's do it again? Yeah, that, that's, that was the thing. They wanted to do it again. And then they wanted a boy. Yeah, okay. but that's different. I can, they I were, can see they that. were older, so that makes a lot more sense. Well, and plus you they, planned your kids? No. You, and you I didn't plan mine. Not yeah. never. Yeah. None of them? <laughs> Not even like oh, none, of wow. them. none of them. None of them. None of them. None of them. My 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 so I have two bios 
And uh, my oldest daughter is Bios. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is show are we watching? <laughs> well, look, look, he, Foundation. He, he call, he what call, show is he this? He called them blood. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but we, but but I get that though. You shortened a word yeah. that wasn't even a word we should have been talking about. Yeah. I, I, Biological. I know I get it. Yeah. But you said bios. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got two bios. What my, Apple TV <laughs> show is this? It's like I feel like this is a future hey, I, I was dystopian too. future. I was like, wait, yeah, two bios. bios? What are we talking about? <laughs> That's like the first time I worked where we all worked that time. Yeah. When they started to my, oh yeah, I gotta take a bio break. I'm like, bio, what kind of corny ass shit? Like, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> it's weirdness. And, and, Weirdos. And the 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 first one You guys I, are nerds. I was fresh out. So uh vacation. I've always claimed that. <laughs> you were fresh off vacation Fresh off vacation So okay. I hadn't You know I mean Like there was no Build up There was a lot of build up there, 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 Like it was It was like That was some potent shit Right there Like I, I wasn't trying But it was it, she, she wasn't on nothing So it was gonna happen Okay it, I mean that was just like But a, you didn't it, plan it That was No that was just The perfect storm Like you know I mean She wasn't on birth control And it was It was definitely gonna happen And then again The second one is that We heard about the trap <laughs> Yeah yeah, so that was, that's how that one worked out. So yeah, I never planned any. Of mine. I, neither one of them planned. So yeah, that's that's interesting, man. I don't know very many people, black people, who had you know had a conversation and decided that this was the time. Yeah, I agree. Because even me and my brothers, only my middle brother was playing. Well, again, so you have to put your phone down, bro. Are you watching the game or are you looking for the topic? No. <laughs> Are you still holding the topic up? Yeah, no, my is. nigga. It's an hour and 45 minutes. Put that, put you, we're just going to bullshit the rest of this show. There's no reason. And let's be clear. That's not planned. What he did is not planned. Not, that's a, he had a plan. So so hold up. Yeah, but like explain that to me. So you you stroking and you be like, you know what? It's time. It's, it's yeah, me. It's second, all me. To have nah, my second that. baby. No, nah, before that. Oh, you so before, before the stroke. Like, oh, he had a plan. 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 I told that's, you. I, that's I, evil, bro. To me, I... Now she was she kept trying to talk me into it type oh, stuff okay. or whatever. And I was like, nah, nah, nah. But then finally, I was just like, you know what? Yeah, and let's then, do it. And then when we, and was there a reason why you said let's do it this time, or is just like you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna tell you what. Nah, friends. it just kind of happened organically. It was awesome, actually. And that would be the best nuts, bro. right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It just be it, it, you be get caught up. It be like you be like, whoa, whoa, wow, leave leave it in. Ha, ah, let's do it. There's only one <laughs> nut better than that nut. And that's the nut where you're holding back and she's still sucking it, but you're still holding it back. Yes. And, she's holding it back. and she makes that shit oh, pop that's out. Magic. That's, yeah. yeah. That, that is, nut right that is, there. That's, that that is, that's magic. That Look, listeners, if you can hear everybody's express, everybody's <laughs> Yo, feeling about this on this show. <laughs> you like, you like, I guess, I guess you just we just giving head right now. Right. Like, yeah. and, <laughs> and if you're a, and if you're a female and you're listening to this show and you've never had this conversation with your man. This is what you need to be working yeah, on. Because yeah. again, like you, you like listen, that. I, I'm I'm trying to fuck right, but if you keep going, like yeah. we are gonna have to take a break. Like right. this yeah, going, yeah. you, it, it might just be a head session. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, like if you matter of fact, I, I would want that because because we do take that break. You know, I you would, real loud right now. Yeah, you loud, and you touch, and you touching him too. We do my dicks and pussies and shit. You touching him. <laughs> I don't like that. French, I mean, Smooth used that to me all the time. We be talking about some real sexual shit, and he keeps tapping me. I'm like, nigga, stop touching me. <laughs> nigga, be excited. Like you. What's your excuse? Go ahead. What number you want to say? <laughs> um, shit, I forgot. I was... Oh, yeah. no, I was saying like, that. oh, because you take that break, I'm I'm gonna fuck you even better now. Like like, nah, like I'm good, I'm, <laughs> bro. When that happens, I'm sucking my thumb. <laughs> look, 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 look. Hey, look, when no, I hold I'm it, she sucks it out. Bro, if you do that nigga, to me, hey, I'm gonna reward you. This nigga you said we gonna have to dick. take a break because he was trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, "Look, it might have to be a head only session, <laughs> bro." I'm <laughs> done. I'm sucking my thumb. Yo, is it really true? Like once you hit like forty, like you can't come back up like that. Yes, I, it's not. It's not. Because I come back it, up like it's nothing. It's not as. It's, it's gonna <laughs> slow down on you, homie. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but I don't want Thanks. that though. I, I don't want to lose that. Who does? <laughs> yeah, you. Who does? You, you don't have a choice. But I think that I'm gonna have to. to, to I, it's called the refractory to, period. To, to, <laughs> refractory, yeah, refract. But I think that it's possible at forty to have multiple sexual sessions in, yeah, in yeah, one I'm day. Yeah, sure. Proper but, diet. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Fuck. What do you say? Come on, my nigga. What do you say? Diet. I'm talking about nigga shit. You talking about? You know what I'm saying? Getting your diet. your L two levels correct. Like, is my good cholesterol my bad cholesterol? Yeah, nigga. nigga, I'm Vitamin not talking about D none levels of levels and shit. I'm not talking about none of that. I'm saying that in cert on certain days. Oh. And here's what I'm saying. There are certain days where the stars align, where you have all the energy you need. She has all the energy she needs. You guys are clicking the right way. Uh, y'all had a good uh, experience somewhere or something. Mm -hmm. It's possible on days like that for you to have a session and then maybe a little bit later have another session or, or two or three or whatever. But the possibility of the, like so much shit has to be right in the mm -hmm. world. 
Israel has to stop bombing <laughs> Palestine. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, <laughs> niggas got to stop becoming bitches and cutting their dicks off. Yeah. Like, it's so much but, that but has to But do you think up. that's more the age or just the, the age. lifestyle age. you live at 40 because age, of work? Age, my nigga, age. There's Responsibilities, no. you be so much shit you got to do. I don't give a fuck how many push-ups you do, my nigga. If you're 40... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Niggas be saying if you... Drink like um, if you drink kale juices. Yeah, and all you that. want that? I, I fuck <laughs> pussy if I gotta drink kale all the time. I just jack off. <laughs> like, I just jack off. You should be straight. I don't know because I ain't forty yet. Bro, the I'm point like... of the pussy is I enjoy it. I don't want to do some shit I don't enjoy to enjoy that. That's I, I just do. I just drink soda and jack off. So yeah. and it's they weird. They say eat a banana before that that helps oh. out. Eat a banana, my nigga. Like <laughs> that's what they say. Do, so is that what you do right now? No, but you, when okay, I'm forty, I'm, I you're bet not. you I'm gonna try to eat some you're bananas. Not. You're not. <laughs> You're not going to when you're 40 either. You're going to fuck and that one time, and that's it. That's good enough. Listen, so the funny thing is the refractory period, it depends. Like, so again, I think when you're, when you're with a partner, right, there's, especially if you give a good, fucker. Good, good work for him, your partner. <laughs> you, you, never, you don't know. <laughs> right. G money only. <laughs> you give a fuck, right? Like, so you, you know, you're like, damn it. You know what I mean? What the effort that it's going to take to please you again, right? Like all of that shit. But if you just, you know, if you just in a masturbation session, right? Like it ain't no one home. Like you use, you, you might, your refractory period is, might be a lot less. You might be oh, like, yeah. you might be but like. But even another, then, you maybe, still got to be in a certain mood. Do you right. want to masturbate yeah. again? You gotta, right. yeah. what, I'm, what I'm saying is for, what French doesn't understand, and you, I'm sure you'll agree with me when you hear it, it's not necessarily the physical part. Right. It's not whether or not your dick can get hard again. Right. It's the other shit. Like oh, yeah. you're like, okay. you're, when you're 40 something, your interest level for a second nut is like, mm, I, I'd rather just lay on the couch and watch TV. Right. Like, like that, when like, I was younger, was good. I'm hitting that pussy again. Right. When I'm older, I'm like, mm, that was pretty good. Was good. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm good. We, are we good? Like, you looking around there <laughs> I'm like, satisfied. Are, we, are, we, are we good? I think we're good. Uh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's an interest thing. Yeah. You're no longer interested in pussy mm. after you got it. Like, I don't know what it is about being 48. So I feel like that's lifestyle. I feel like it's just because you had a no, hard day at work. Why do you keep saying that, man? Listen, I'm 48. <laughs> and I'm telling you, eat more vitamins. I'm telling say, you, don't got shit to do with bananas, my nigga. <laughs> no, much. I'm not talking about lifestyle as far as diet. I'm of, talking course about he, just, of course, he want to eat a banana. I'm talking <laughs> fuck you. I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about just like because at 40 your, your responsibility is like higher. Don't even chew it. So I can well. understand you got some pussy for the day. You be like, oh, I'm good. No, you're not listening to me. I'm living better than I've lived my entire life. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? I have the ability to do things that I couldn't have done when I was 20. I'm living better. I just don't have interest in it after that first nut. And it's biological. It's not me. I love pussy. But after that first nut at 48, I'm like. I look around the room like, we good, right? Are we good? Is everybody good? Right. I'm making sure everybody got a nut. Everybody got a nut. We good. I'm like, well, fuck, there's not really any more interest in this for me because I satisfied that itch I had. Mm. At 48, I don't need that itch scratch but one time. Whereas when I was 20, that itch would keep itching. Right. Even though I nutted already. You know what I'm saying? It's, and it's not lifestyle. You keep saying that, but it's not about bananas and kale and <laughs> stress. And, like, of course, <laughs> those things have a, play a part, I'm sure. Yeah. But that's not... Powerful. If I wanted to fuck, I don't give a fuck what kind of kale I've had. <laughs> okay. I'm right. fucking. At 48. Okay. At 48. Okay. I'm a monster. Okay. But that, I, thank that you. First I, one, I just wanted to hear that. Because I, I don't want to I that don't want first to lose one, my mojo. I'm still 40. a monster for that first <laughs> okay. one. And no, and, and, and no kale been swallowed. No, and not even think about no goddamn. Yeah. I ain't think about no goddamn yeah. kale. <laughs> if, if, if my shit don't get hard, I'm gonna try to do whatever I gotta do to make it. I'm not thinking about. Oh, I need to go get a, a kale sh uh, smoothie. So do you go all in in that first one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, look, it, look. What's his, uh, uh, Bernie Mac explained this shit? <laughs> he explained this shit to Kings of Comedy. <laughs> He's talking about, look, once I get mine, that shit over, but you, you better get yours while you can. Right. <laughs> no, no. You, yeah, that part is important. I, and so it's interest. It's not no, It's not okay, what you think it is. I get it. Yeah, there's these athletes telling you, yeah, man, you need to cut down your weight and you're at risk of diabetes. That makes the sex drive. Sure, sure. Right. That shit don't matter to a nigga who want to fuck, though. Right. Pe but, diabetes and... Diabetics get pussy when, yeah, they, when like, they want it. But <laughs> at 48... At 48 <laughs> Then it's just me. I know there are other 48-year-olds who don't feel like this. But at 48, I'll get the pussy, and I wanted it. After I get my interest in pussy declines heavily. It falls off a cliff until maybe 8 hours, 12 hours, the next day, whatever. Mm. And then I might start building my interest back up. But after that nut, I'm good. As mm. long as the room is good, I'm good. Facts. And I don't know why. And I can't explain it, and it's going to happen to you, and I'm sorry. It's cool. <laughs> but well, but think, we're not mad no, about it. No, yeah. you know what I think it is, too? 
I think your ego is not there anymore like that. I think it's an ego thing when you're when you're young. You're like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show out. I gotta, I gotta beat this pussy to a sore, maybe. right? Like I gotta go, like you know. But it's like to mm. a sore. No, I gotta be part of it. I think. Yeah, maybe. Ego definitely like, plays a part. Like, like so, but you're like, do I need to? Like I don't know. Yeah. Me, I don't think you so. Just do that like shit you said. Out. Brag like, about that kind of shit all the time. Oh, yeah. I, I beat that. She was walking crooked and all this. Like, right, like you know. But again, like you said, is is the room good? Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> like that. Look, look, I asked twice. We got it. No, look, <laughs> we, we, these sheets got to be changed. Right. So, like, shit. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, so, <laughs> so, so, so obviously, You're like I asked you twice. You, I thought you said yes both times. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, you said it. You said interest because I, I was interest. thinking like forty hits. That dick just won't want to get hard anymore. And no, I'm like, no, hold on. No, no, no. no, no, no. Like, no, no. Like, no, no. I'm talking about 48 year olds who still can't get an erection. Yeah. I'm not talking about people who have like yeah, erectile dysfunction or anything yeah, yeah. like that. DV? E D E D, I mean. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not talking about that. That's a that's whole a, different. That's, yeah, that's, that's a whole a different. different. And that is diabetes and kale and bananas. <laughs> but if you can get a hard dick and you do fuck, I'm just saying at 48, you can get a hard dick and you can fuck. But immediately after that, you start losing. Interest. interest Okay And it's nothing There's nothing you yeah. can do about it that's You could fair. watch a porno And still be like eh, I'm done yeah. yeah That's fair And again ED I think again I, I I say it's the great myth Right Because again Motherfuckers dick get hard When they jack off Like there's not There's uh, Maybe they don't I don't know But I've never had an issue Where I was fucking masturbating And my dick wouldn't get hard Unless it was drug related But I think that's different too Because I think yeah. there's, there's a There's a level of selfishness In that right so when you're right, when I don't have to worry about nothing. Else. You ain't got to prep. You ain't right. got to warm nothing up. I, and I don't have to worry about pleasing nobody else but and, me. Yep. And then talking about masturbation, some niggas get ED for consuming too much porn. Uh, so when they get to the that's really, what you your boy that? said. You that's what no. they say. I don't believe that's that. what your that's what your boy was saying. And I wish you he'd have came on the yeah, show because they he say got that, you. They say that like porn addicts may not get really excited for sex because it's like too vanilla for them. Because they got what? This, Dude, why can't you? Wh- or, come on. That's not, what they or, say. Or what it is is they've been doing it for so long that like they like really like weird shit and they can't get a partner to do those things. Yeah. Or so you they know, don't feel or, that's like porn doing. addicts, or, not like niggas that just watch. Or porn. you already busted four nuts today, nigga, and now when the pussy come, five is like ah, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, out yeah, of already. That's probably what it is, really. That's probably what it is. That is what it is because <laughs> them type of niggas are the ones that are doing six, seven fucking busts. Again. Straight up, if you bust four nuts on porno a day, bro, that's crazy. Right. Woo! Like I ain't gonna lie, there's Good been a dick kind of get hurt. There been hurts. there have been some there have been some days where I've done multiple um, um, porno trips. Yeah. But that's not a norm. Like, if that's your norm, bro, you're right. like three and or four it, times it, a day. It's like, it's like desensitized, or you're like desensitized. Literally. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you scratch right. the surface off your dick. Right, right. You just touch like, the pussy I like, oh, I don't even feel it, this. I mean, because like, if you keep jacking, if you don't look, if, like, if you don't watch porn all the time, you're not jacking off the porn all the time. Like, you gotta the, talk to the, the idea, the idea of like, uh, you know, like a, a, a naked female or something should do something to you. Right. But if you're like one of them porn addicts and like this is what you do for hours a day, eventually like like hardcore shit is not even gonna do it for you. I Don John. Know. I don't know if I could ever not be affected by a You're naked not woman. in this category. You're, not, you're not in this category. None of us are. <laughs> I don't think any one of us is in this room or in that category. You don't be jacking off four or five times. You've a day. watched gay porn, dude. No, you're wait, right. wait, you're wait, 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 You're expert level. Wait, 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 wait. You're expert level. No, time out. Hold I'm, a, I'm an amateur. Fuck, hold the fuck up. What? It was gay porn. I knew he not gonna let it go by. It was a gay porn. It was like. I, it was gay porn. It was I trans porn. Wait, wait. I just it was heard, trans I heard, porn. I heard, I heard research. Yeah. He did say research. Was, I heard research. Was, he was studying to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was trans porn. That's it gay was porn. trans porn. That, but this is the thing. So it was a it was a it was a dick with titties. So this is the thing. You know how when you watch when you're on the porn site, when you go over the thumbnail, it shows you a preview, <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait a minute. The whole ride home, I could imagine he gonna be like, "So, is it official or not? Is it right, so after today's show? Is it official with Fred Ready? No, but know. Park, Park, you you know what I'm talking about. He does, Park. You know what I'm talking about. You know he how does? when you when you go to, when you just you haven't clicked the porn yet, but you just see the thumbnail and it gives you like four or five screenshots of what it's like. Mm-hmm. So I never saw the, a second dick. I just thought it was two girls. So I clicked it, and then <laughs> in the middle, I'm getting comfortable. I whoa, saw. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it was a girl in a, a trans. 
No, yeah, no. It, that's why wait, I was like best wait. of both worlds. Oh, is that true, man? That's oh, why I was like best oh, of both did, worlds. He did say he was the that's best why, of both worlds. That's why I said he was the best oh, of both worlds. Else. No, no, you number, know what? I'm thinking one, about is he. No, no, he watched another one where he watched a guy lick another dude's nut. Yeah, that, that was, was a cuckold. cuckold. That was just look, cuckold. Look, 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 okay, look, y'all, y'all that going, was cuckold. This is too fast. It ended like that. It Wait, ended like that. Basically. How the fuck else? What else would be after that? <laughs> after a nigga eats another nigga's nut, what else, could be, what else could happen though. after but that? But the entire point was the bully fucking. Hold yeah, on. but what else could happen? Time it ended. Out. Puck said, "Huh, y'all coming to? That this is, is y'all throwing them at me too fast. That's like the this, ending. This, this, is, this is too much for them to to process. It's coming. It's coming too quick, bro. No pun intended. <laughs> but Puck, if you watch another man fuck a girl. What's like? What's wrong watching a girl with titties and a dick fucking a girl? Yeah, you said you enjoyed it. <laughs> no, I would just say it was the best of both worlds. Oh my god! Yeah, but the best of both worlds. You say it was the it both was worlds. it was both worlds. You said it was like, the I got best. Four titties you know, and a dick. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Honestly, like part of that might have been believable if you didn't say the research part. No, no, that's what he was doing. <laughs> when you said yeah, the research, research, so when you're telling me research, that means you you were willingly going into this. Yes, like looking yeah. for yeah. some. So, Not the one where he saw the dude oh eat the other dude's God. nut though. That no, was, that was just me watching cuckold and then he was watching. He he chose <laughs> to watch cuckold, but yeah. and that's what that's what got him to admire in it. Yeah, he's like he admired the cuck. Coincidentally, a few months he, later, some nut hit his lip. Right, he's like, look, if if that nigga could take a whole like right, he slipped he, the whole shit he, up. He, right, he, he could, I could take one little lick. <laughs> <laughs> My admiration. Take another man's po- are these no. facts? These are facts. What are these facts? These are all facts. The these, these things that they're saying. These are, are, all they, facts. are these facts? The point. I saw that clip of that point. Yeah. These are no, all facts. I'm talking about the timeline of yes. this, this in chronological <laughs> yes, order. These are all facts. I put it on the yeah, show. Pretty much. Yeah. I put it on the show, my nigga. <laughs> on God. <laughs> I put it on the show. <laughs> what the yucks say? On God. The but I just wanted to see what was the hot. <laughs> <laughs> You be so loud, friends. <laughs> My bad. You scared me. Yeah, you know what it is too, because I swear to God, I, I always go back to when we were used to record downstairs. Yeah. And when he first started, he was like this. Oh yeah. It was, he, talk, he, he had the little Michael Jackson voice that he used. Next to thing do. you know, he's eating nut off his lip. <laughs> he to, and I was like, "Yeah, but no, bro." He he started off as Michael Jackson, like in the in the late Michael Jackson, like right. when he was real soft, and now he's just fucking acid rock. This nigga just Tito, he's Tito Jackson. Now. He just screams like he's just like fucking Agent Orange. Like you don't even know what he's saying. He's like blah 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 blah. Well, we some kind of way uh, limped across the finish line, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Our refractory period <laughs> that got us to. We, to I, I, I am I am I am done founded. I'm, yeah 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 yeah. You gotta take that with you. you. Take take that home with you. I you feel can. like in the comic book when they have like all the exclamation points and question marks above there. No, you can have that. Take that with you. Take the, uh, uh, there. You go. Take that with you. But I feel like you still haven't got anything figured yeah, out. Yeah, like, like, I feel like we still haven't got to the bottom. You, of you're it. You're There's like, nothing <laughs> to get the bottom of. <laughs> hey, did did, did it's just. You know that he used to um he has an alter ego that's a woman, right? Black Roxanne? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. That's my that's that's just cause you know I, I said it earlier, um um <laughs> cause I have a dead twin sister. Kinda. Uh, kind of. He Wait, killed he, he, mur- he murdered her. What? In the he womb. murdered her. In, in the, the womb. womb. Oh. My my sack it was fraternal, so okay. my sack. Okay. You know, he so ate, he ate so the baby I said, parts. you know, I okay. got three percent of her in me. And you know, so and that, and that manifested into Black Roxanne. Who was on the show as Black Roxanne the entire show? Man, that shit was I hard. Obviously, yeah. have, I, I have yeah, a lot of dig- I have archives. a lot of digging in the crates to <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, yeah like, get into those crates, bro. Because look, at, I think it might be labeled Black Black Roxanne. I like, know if you search Black Rox, uh, Roxanne, I'm sure it's in. It's going to be in the. I put that in the, in the, the show somewhere. notes for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm looking for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking hilarious. Oh Listeners, y'all God. should do it too. Because uh, hilarious. This is the. This is who we have. I, but you gonna but you gonna need uh, to be premium to get back that far though, right? I think you will. Yeah. So you got to go. You got to go to the website and get that premium. Yeah, uh, French. You took fine. you took the microphone three weeks ago, man. Four weeks ago. I have yet to see a street interview. Oh, we working on that. Oh, you working? Who's we? Me and Mac. Oh, okay. I, I love how he put me in it because he didn't want to even. He's talking about him and his friends gonna go. He didn't want to invite. I me. I didn't know you was gonna be able to. That's he why didn't want to invite me. That. Of course, I'm not even working right now. I'm fucking you and doing your it. Friends. Wait, wait a minute. Who's who's gonna be on it? Who are uh, the a people? friend of my, uh, it was a friend of mine because he was starting a podcast so and he'd be having random people. There. Is he Haitian as well? No, he's American. Okay, is he is he one of the people that you were on the show with before that time? No, he hasn't come in the show. The yet. time I saw you on there uh, talking over those people on their no, own no, show, no, no, no. it was another homie. <laughs> he doesn't do that. Yes, he did. Uh, no, of course he, he does. Monopolized he their he, show, bro. He one, of them, one of those guys actually want to come on the show. I got to hit him. Yeah, up. bring him. Yeah, bring him. He does it now. What are you, you talking about? But you know that we're gonna ask him. Is he know? Does he know you well? 
to what extent? Not to not, that extent. Not the gay extent, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I guess not. I, yeah. guess not. Okay. Well, now, I don't right. have a gay extent. You said there you go, right. Gay. It's like, only gay if you do some shit with another man. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's uh, not, and I have uh, never uh, done anything uh, with another man. Well, you did some shit with your man. <laughs> your little man. <laughs> <laughs> he did some shit with your man. Get your man like the DC people. Get your man, shorty. I don't know why Pog is like dumb about it. Cause I, you know I, why he's. I, what do you mean you don't know why he's dumb? That's, that's what's you funny. watch a man fuck a girl. That's, what's wrong with another man fucking he's a girl? To, that he's indoctrinating titties. you into gay. It's shit. another dude. Wait, fucking, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> he's indoctrinating you into gay shit right now. <laughs> he's throwing right. game. I, at I, you. I, I can't he's follow throwing, you. He's throwing I'm gay sorry, game I can't follow you there. I can watch a dude fuck a chick, but it's not the it's same. It's the same. It's the same thing. It's not the same. You're looking at. I'm not saying it's the same, but. You just said the you're watching a dude fuck a dude. No, I never watching. said a dude fuck a dude. I said a dude with titties <laughs> Asian orange fucking shit. another girl. Oh, okay. That's why I said best of oh, both worlds. All right, anthrax. That's so, still that's still weird as fuck. So to when me. you watch that dude lick another dude's nut, what is that? That that that, that disgusted me. But it but was, you finished. I mean, it was the end of the clip of the porn. Mm. That's how they ended it. You know how they always end with nope. the with it the cup shot. It ended when he came. You didn't have to sit there and yeah, watch nigga. I, I, I didn't it think up. he was gonna hey, do that. What I, don't, else? I don't. I don't watch plenty of porn video where the where the motherfucker end up snowing and balling at the end. But as soon as I see that's where it's going, I cut that shit off. So I didn't even know it was gonna go to the point <laughs> where the because you gotta think in that scene the cuck was just. You you barely saw the cuck the whole time, right? Unless when she is that like a popular thing though for the cuck to do. To just sit down and watch. No, to do what you. Watch oh, so them I, do. at that time I didn't know it was popular for them to. He lick knows them now up. though. But you know, yeah. now that he knows, he yeah, admi- I did not know that. Now that he knows, so I just thought they just watch. I didn't tell you this part. He admires that cook. No, I heard it on the show. Yeah, he yeah, said he yeah. admired the cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was talking about uh, uh, what's his name from the Family Matters should have went with the superhead bitch to go yeah. fuck with uh, Little Wayne or some shit. Yeah, Wild Things, man. <laughs> Why are things mine? <laughs> I, I really want to have an interview with one of those guys. I guys? bet you do. One of, one one of the cut to kind of see where they're coming please from. Please with find yeah, us I, I want to find one because I really do not. I don't think the male biology, biology allows what? you to even become that guy. I don't what know. are you talking hey, about? Look, because I don't know because there's a dude that we know that's 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 like that. That's a cuck or the he does he doesn't do the nut lick to, but he he gets off on his wife fucking other dudes though. Can we bring him in the show? Can we please? He's in sack. He's in sack. So cool. He can call this nigga. That's even better. He don't got to put his show us his face. Yes, yes. <laughs> so he can't be embarrassed. Like yo, and let's... French Reggie wants to meet this French nigga is so bad. So tight. <laughs> Bring him, cause cause I want to know how do you even find out you like that shit. That's that's really what the how do you end up finding out? Oh, I actually want to hey, see the look, wife look, get fucked. I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll yeah, talk to you him. know what? I know French. This is how you find out you like it. You watch it till the end, and then you admire the nigga. Right. That's, yeah. that's how you know you like <laughs> it. Stage one I admire two. the nigga because I admire Wait, the psyche stage one, you that watch allows it. you to get hold that hold to on. the end. To me, it watch seems, it to the I, end. I don't know. It's don't the know. psyche that, that gets Check it out, French. That. Stage one, you watch it to the, the end. What about the psyche that you dig, though? Because I don't, I don't think the male... I don't think they... <clears throat> Just the male French. code I got allows it, you to even enjoy Bru- watching French. your woman get fucked by another man. So the fact that you're, you're able to bypass that code, <laughs> I kind of want to know how the fuck you. Like I just want to. Because you're selfish, that. Reggie. You don't know, because you you're a pleaser. But if you couldn't please your girl, and then you you didn't you know you wanted to watch someone else her still get pl- pleased. Then you would you would have a better understanding. No, but I you're don't super you know why a lot of those dudes do that type of. I, like, they I can't, say I, as far as going as far as no, whatever. I can't I can't follow that. But as far as the whole watching your chick get fucked by another dude, do you know why a lot of dudes get turned on by that? From what I heard is is usually dudes in high position because they always control. no. Nigga. That's what I heard. There's a lot dudes of niggas that has nothing to do with that. This is not that's CEOs why I heard. That's only. The only thing it I has heard. nothing to do with that. What it has to do with that. Because in nature, it's a nature thing because it's like the same in the animal kingdom or whatnot. But basically, like, because most of them, they don't have these bonds that we have, like boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage, and things of that nature. It's most like, of who? Those guys? In, in animal, no, in nature. the oh, animal, animal kingdom. Okay. There's none of that shit like that. Like yeah. we have it in human society. But apparently there's some there's a thing where if a woman that or a female that you consider to be your mate or whatnot is being fucked by somebody else, it like causes you to produce more sperm or some shit like that to where when you bust, it's like much harder or some shit like that. Nice. That's why there's dudes that literally will go find dudes to fuck their wives. So they get this experience. Research I, I, don't, I don't need time. that. I, I don't, so, I don't right, think so, I need a nut that So good. check this out, no though. You that. were saying, how does it happen? Let's get it. It's I got a, a homeboy that literally was, was, was being paid to do this. Step one. 
Step Being one. Paid to be the cock or the bull? To be the bull. All oh. right. Step one. You you go, you watch the film, the cuck hole to the end. Right. Then two, you watch him lick up the sperm. Three. Then three, you let some sperm hit your lip and then you lick it. Four. And then four, you you cooking. You gay, nigga. You cooking. You, hey, you cooking. I think it's research time, French. You're 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 a I'm research type of dude, man. You should just try it, man. Nah, bro. Cause, cause, I, I, cause, this is the thing. Like, <laughs> I don't even think like I would be able to look at my girl the same. No. What? Like after that, I don't, don't know. Like, I feel like you might respect her. Or you don't like nah. women. <laughs> I her feel like body you might respect choice. her. Bro. I don't share. I don't like to share. Period. So like, just nah. off that. He alone, said you were selfish. Listen, yeah, I'm th- very selfish. Listen, selfish. listen, because what's gonna happen is the same thing that happened to Oda. She finna make a sound that, yeah, that, 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 that she didn't make for him. Yeah. Right. All, all that shit plays into my head. That's why I don't understand it. But no, you just gave no, me no, stop. You nope, just gave no, me another no. point where he says this is shut supposed to be the biggest down, French. No, shut that shit down. I have it on record. Mac is my witness. Yep. You said. You see how I agree before I even know what he's gonna say. Because you know I'm, what I'm about I'm, to say. Don't I'm you? on that French Reggie shit right now. Yep. You told us that if your girl told you that you were a six, you would work your ass off to become a ten. Yes, but I would not call another nigga. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. If your girl made a noise with another nigga. You got oh I gotta figure out how to do yeah. that myself yeah. like I'm right. like, I gotta get because she didn't no no because you should have you should have you should have told me I was a six don't let me find I, out you, I was you a six did by just the say other you nigga. don't think you see her the same way again <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying don't let me find out I'm a six by screaming a different way with the other nigga that's a different ball game just like that's just Joe Smith finding out I wonder how many cucks actually like remain cucks after that type of shit happens because I'm sure that shit happens I feel like. Isn't that the I whole point like, of being a cuck? To me, I would just be feel like you just brought a bus down, right? Like, she's not really my girl. Like, again, I let a motherfucker, like, you know what I mean? Like, I fuck, but, you know, eh, whatever. Like, that's the only way that I could ever see something like that. Like, this ain't really my but girl. But you just to sit down and watch? No, no, I, I, no, I feel no, what no. you're saying. I feel what you're saying. No, 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 no. Not sit down saying. and watch, because, again, I, it's, I'm thinking more of, like, swinging shit. Oh, okay. And even then, it's got to be like a bus oh, down. I thought you was talking more along the lines of where you got the bitch and you didn't already did whatever the hell you wanted to do. You didn't wore the shit out, did everything, the disrespect. Respected all this kind of shit. Now you done took her to the house where the niggas is and just right. drop her ass off type right. shit. Right, right. You know that, I mean? that, that's how. Or, or come that's, in, have people. a drink, or whatever, and let them. And all right, leave. I'm out of here. Right. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm out. Like, yeah. yeah, this is my boy. I will. <laughs> research. I think it's research time. <laughs> Listeners, keep supporting us. Keep interacting with us, and we'll keep bringing the nonsense because we realize that sometimes people just need to laugh. Till next time. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed.